All right, and welcome to Forgotten Popcorn, where we talk about movies that have made us forget eating our popcorn. Today, we're talking about Spider-Man 2. I am extremely excited. I just want to start by saying that for the game. It's coming out tomorrow. I am incredibly excited. PS5, I'm going to be playing all day tomorrow. I don't know about you guys. I'm gaming all day. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm probably going to as well. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't have a PS5, so I'm going to wait a couple months till it comes out on PC. Cause there you go. It's yeah. a bit of a wait, but uh, worth nah, it. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'd I'm love sure it's going to be worth it. Oh, for sure, for sure. <laughs> I already told my girlfriend the whole day I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting in front of the TV, playing the game. That's it. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> Good call. Good nice call. Nice 24 hours reserved right there. Uh, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's that's gonna be so good. So, down to the movie. Yeah, Spider Man Two, Sam Raimi, uh, two thousand four. I'm pretty sure two thousand four. Two thousand four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Almost twenty years ago now. Yeah, that's ah, crazy. That's, <laughs> that is nuts. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my god. Jeez. That's scary to think about. I know. I remember like being such a kid and like um, with my brother having like the posters of Spider Man One, Spider Man Two all over my wall. Like I mean, I'm not gonna remember watching the movie for the first time. I was such a kid. But like having those um, like pictures all over the walls uh, and, you know, in my childhood pictures, I have like me posing in front with like the posers in the back, you know, and it's just I've been a Spider-Man fan my whole life. As if you're watching YouTube, I am currently wearing a Spider-Man outfit. So Spider-Man rocks. (laughs) Of course, of course. What about you guys? When was your first time watching it? Or if you remember it, like experience? Oh, man. I mean, I don't remember because I was probably like five years old or something, (laughs) right? VHS probably came out in around 2005 because I remember having it on VHS, mm-hmm. but actually watching it, I, I don't remember at all. No, but yeah, it's one of those nostalgic movies where you just turn it on and brings you straight back to back then, you know. Yeah, seeing the intro at the start, like the oh yeah, oh, the that classic intro. Spider-Man. Yeah, so good. I've completely forgotten about it because I probably haven't watched this movie in like over 10 years now. Yeah, like the second I clicked play, so I was like, oh yes, thank God I played. I, I honestly, there's a couple movies that did a similar kind of intro to that, like in the past. Yeah. But I feel like it's more of a really early 2000s kind of thing. Oh, yeah. I missed it. I was good. Yeah. I, I remember, I'm just like, yeah, as soon as it came on, I was like, that was so good. Where, where did it I come know, from? I forgot I about that. Oh, man. I wish. Yeah. But no. Yeah. No, I, uh, I love that intro. That intro, uh, it's very time appropriate, time period appropriate. Yeah. It, yeah. it makes sense because that's just sort of, you know, it took a lot of work from the artist standpoint. Uh, I, I love that uh, simple, just straight to the point type of uh, introduction. Yeah. I, and uh, I love the um, the score that's used with it as well. I think it's like one of the, like most of this entire film has a great score throughout Mm -hmm. but i love the intro one just because it really is just it's a spider-man intro and you can it's not just like oh yeah cool he's a superhero and he like swings and whatever like oh yeah Yeah. cool but like it really shows like the entire personality of like who spider-man is who peter parker is indeed and because this this movie really is as much as it's about spider-man it's really about who peter parker is it's a lot more about peter parker yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Absolutely. Yeah. Talk about Peter Parker uh, and Spider-Man, obviously, because this is what the episode's about. Um, there's different kind of portrayals, obviously, of Peter Ma- Spider-Man, Peter Parker throughout the years. There's been so many. Mm-hmm. I have to ask the obvious question. We're <laughs> talking about Spider-Man. We did it a little bit with uh, Batman, but you guys, who's your favorite Spider-Man and or who's your favorite <laughs> Peter Parker? And if you have a favorite Spider-Man movie, we'll do that one, too. But oh, like, who's man. your favorite Spider-Man? Who's your favorite Peter Parker? Oh, am I starting us off? Okay, wait, let so. me ask you this. Okay, okay, when yeah. you say who's your favorite Spider-Man, who's your favorite Peter Parker, do you mean that as two separate characters or do you mean one portrayal? Because for me, the reason I ask that is for me, I have two different answers. I have a favorite Peter Parker and I have a favorite Okay, Spider-Man. yeah, me too. Okay, okay. so, all yeah. right. You too? Okay, because yeah, yeah, okay, that, okay. that's why I said that because okay. like, I have a favorite actor for both, but I have a preference for one of each. Okay, so good. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Okay. I'll start like, already sure, in it. So. Sure, so my... In like general, my favorite actor is Tom Holland because I find he does the portrayal of Peter Parker and um, Spider-Man the best. I find not the best for both, but he does such an amazing job doing both at the same time that I find he's just like the perfect role. So I very, very enjoy like Tom Holland's performance, Um, especially like I said, Peter Parker, Tom Holland, uh, Peter Parker and Spider-Man. He portrays them in such a way that like he has a comedic. He has that like 
life tragedy that's going on. Uh, obviously, that's what we really relate to with Peter Parker. Um, Tom Holland, I may, like again, amazing. Favorite Peter Parker, Tobey Maguire. Favorite Spider Man, Andrew Garfield. That's for me. Well, you just listed all three in like different categories. Yeah, I just went. I just went right for it. I just went right for it because yeah. um, for me, um, Tobey Maguire is just you relate so much to him. Especially, I don't know if it's the nostalgia or if it's the um, the kind of connection or just his facial attributes, but you just connect to him in a way with Peter Parker and the things that you see him go through. I find in a much deeper way than you would Andrew Garfield or Tom Holland. But I find Andrew Garfield as a Spider-Man, he's just incredible. Like the movements he does, have you seen? Like he literally talks without talking. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. I, yeah. That's that's my top three. Sorry, guys. I went for it. <laughs> oh, no, it's all good. All good. I do think Andrew Garfield is probably the better actor mm-hmm. out of all of them. So what you're saying, he's talking without actually talking just with his yeah. movement. Makes a lot of sense that's, to me. He's a step above them as an, as an actor yeah, step oh, above yeah. yeah. there's no argument no, there. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Like, no, I agree with you <laughs> I'd have to say that my favorite Peter Parker is Tom Holland just because it's more of the Peter Parker that it's what Peter Parker should be right he's actually in high school yeah he's actually a little kid doing stupid mistakes and blah blah blah, blah yeah blah. other than that my favorite Spider-Man to me is Tobey Maguire mm-hmm. but probably purely nostalgia based what I grew up on and yeah. just him swinging through the city to me is just so iconic the way he does it. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's, to me, it's, to Tom Holland is much more true to the comic books compared yeah. to Toby McGuire. We're introduced to him and he's like in high school for what? A scene? Yeah. Yeah. The pretty the much. Movie. They don't really spend yeah. much time on it. And then he's it. straight into university now and it's like, okay, yeah. fair. Tom Not Holland at like, least like, yeah. now he's going to university, right? Yeah. Where are we at? Like yeah. At the end of the third they're applying to university so it's mm-hmm. like now they're ending high school moving on yeah um, yeah to me it's much more true to the comic books that's why I find it for him I I, I, f- I think um yeah you guys pretty much nailed like more or less the same ideas that I had um the only thing I will say is that like I think Andrew's portrayal and Toby's portrayal are both uh, a step above Tom Holland my reasoning really is just that Tom Holland had quite a few opportunities to show off his Spider-Man likeness and his Peter Parker style through multiple Avengers, solo movies, yeah. all that. He's in yeah. a lot of projects. Oh yeah. Um, Andrew got two movies and Toby got three. Yeah. So yeah. I find it really impressive that uh, we're still talking about these actors and and their portrayals because it's it's very easy just to ignore them you know um but uh it's a really strong cast for each of the eras Mm -hmm. right because if you think about when each one came out i don't really see any other actor playing those characters um tom holland i feel like was probably the more out of the blue casting for spider-man andrew was already you know showing a a lot of potential and has already done quite a bit of work at that point and really shown that he's like an unbelievable actor Mm -hmm. um and then toby as well he'd already done quite a bit of work up to that point uh nothing superhero based but he'd already done you know uh uh he's already a somewhat established name yeah but yeah he was he was already uh, doing quite a bit of work uh, previously. Uh, Cider House Rules. Uh, he did Pleasantville. Right. Uh, he did, uh, I think, one more thing before Spider-Man. I can't remember what it is. I know but, what you're talking about. I'm blanking uh, too. And then after that, I did yeah. The Great Gatsby and stuff like that. So, like, yeah. he's very much was already shown that he, you know, people look at his performance. I, You know what? I'm going to... You guys answered the Spider-Man question perfectly. I don't really have an answer because each one's based off of pretty much nostalgia and then off of pure acting ability. Um, If I had to really quickly summarize one, I guess obviously Toby is my Spider-Man nostalgia straight to the point. I'm biased as hell. Uh, Peter Parker... I, I don't... Like I said, Tom Holland's good, but like I don't love that like younger... Peter Parker style. I really do like the older. Okay. Uh, Fair you know, enough, yeah. So that's why I really love this Spider-Man too that we watched. That like he, they've agreed that okay, he's not high school now. He's in university, and they just own it. And I love this movie for that reason. So, uh, but going back to what I was gonna say, I think um, Toby is 
you know, people look at his acting and his style and the, you know, the work he's done. Uh, it's very dated in a sense now. And the style of, of acting has changed quite a bit. Uh, and that's why a lot of people don't give him a lot of credit for the Spider-Man that he is. They always call his acting, you know, subpar compared to the other ones. And I can see where they're coming from. But if you take a moment to sort of just understand where this movie, when it was made, the time period, yeah. and just sort of appreciate... Go back to early 2000s Hollywood, and that's it, exactly what it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's right up there with everybody else. And uh, totally. I actually do really like his acting style. I really do enjoy... Uh, I don't think he puts in a bad performance necessarily. It's not uh, bad. It's, yeah. it's him. That's yeah. all yeah, it is. It's him, yeah. yeah. And I, I... Like, not everything has to be, like, an amazing, you know, uh, performance. It's Spider-Man after all, right? Yeah. You know, there's mm. certain degrees of performance that we're looking at. It was so. never going to go for an Academy Award for Best Acting. So like, no, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sorry, I had, to, I had to bring it up. Okay, well, at like, one point it was going to come up. Okay, was it though? <laughs> at one point. <laughs> what is that? Six straight episodes with the Oppenheimer reference. <laughs> Love oh, it. Man. Love that. Um, but yeah, like t- Toby, I think gets a lot of uh, disrespect when it comes to his ability, his range. I think he is a very uh, accolade, accolades all over he's done lots of different roles it's not he's not a typecast necessarily he's done no, not at all. quite a bit of different stuff uh if you still haven't watched brothers you should definitely watch mm, that yeah. um yeah. not a fun movie to watch very sad uh but he does a great job in it and you know like a, a lot of people say you know the cheap way of of being an actor is to always do these like over the top emotional scenes which i agree to a, an extent you know like that's how you um, you know, can show your range. Yeah, I understand yeah. where they're coming from, but at the same time, like you really do have to be at least an A tier actor to yeah. be able to pull off that without making people laugh at you or just like think it's ridiculous. Yeah. You know, be able to dig deep, find that emotion, and then portray it without it, looking ridiculous. Yeah, that's yeah. And you're having like skill. the viewer like connect to it. Like, oh too, yeah, you know, yeah. you're having the viewer can see it and be like oh my God, I see what this person is going through and I'm understanding that and I feel bad for them you yeah. know, or I feel angry for them or whatever, like the situation may occur. But his role in Brothers, top notch. That's yes. definitely, I think it's one of Tobey Maguire's best acting roles. It's, he's uh, pretty good. I mean, it yeah. Did, like, yeah like, I haven't yeah. seen the movie yet, but just that one clip that's in every single yeah. Like, yeah. acting yeah. TikTok. Like, yeah. Come on. I mean, for on. sure. Yeah, yeah, you see that scene, but like if you watch the entire film, and then you see that scene, you realize how good the performance actually is. Right, mm-hmm. right. And like he does a phenomenal job outside of it. It's really, yeah, I got to rewatch that. It's, <laughs> it's been on my list for years now. I uh, yeah. still haven't gotten around to it. I will soon, though. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, I love that. One of the other reasons why I prefer Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man is that we actually see him in New York compared to Tom Holland. Yeah, Think that's... About it. Tom That's Holland a fair fighting, point. just swinging through New York City. How many times have we seen that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess. He eh? has a re- really good point. Yeah. Well, I was thinking, I was watching the movie today and I was like, I can't say I've seen Tom Holland just swinging around the city randomly just there as like a transition scene, right? They do this mm, a lot in barely. this movie. Like, it's like, I remember in No Way Home, I think. It's That's like what I was going to say. Probably the only one that I really remember him like texting like uh, MJ being like, oh, like I'm on my way exactly. or something and like swinging around, rescuing yeah. her. But that's, I think that's it. And that, yeah. in this one, we actually see Spider-Man be Spider-Man in his hometown being the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Saving yeah. kids from getting hit by a truck. No, exactly. you know, yeah, yeah. getting we, pizza. <laughs> Tom Holland, we have the one like bank scene. Yeah, but even yeah. then, yeah. it's so MCU'd with the the super weapons that people yeah, are using. Yeah, yeah, that's right. True. It's just not the same. Even and though he I just do like him. Like happens to be at the location. He's just oh, I'm here now. Yeah, it's no. like mm-hmm. okay. In this one, we see him swinging. Oh, cop car. Oh, car going fast. Let's yeah. go. It's completely I, it's, different. I, I, different. That, right? yeah. I didn't think about that. And, the and Tom Holland one tackles like such big challenges and he's in something so much bigger than himself right yeah. the whole mcu yeah and this one it's just spider-man being spider-man which is really refreshing to go back to mm-hmm. yeah no i 100 agree yeah it's lovely to see that and it's weird because you think like with all the technology you have now like they would just be like okay let's just like render out a, a, a shot and yeah. call it a day and you know it's a transition scene whatever because yeah. you know I, uh, I'll start off by saying this, like the CGI from uh, this movie has obviously dated. You can tell, yeah. but it's 
Raimi's use of it is really good, almost as if he knew that this movie was going to be just recognized for like years a, a to come. Cult classic. Cult yeah. classic, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's so quick. And yes, you notice, you're like, oh yeah, that like that Doc Ock CGI, like, okay, mm, like let's, like you know, <laughs> climbing the tower there. Okay, yeah, like let's, yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. know, but like even then, like it's so minimal and it's not relied on by any means. It's like, okay, whatever. Like yeah, yeah. I'm, even for 2004, like you probably know it doesn't look amazing, but who cares? It's yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. I mean, just let him swing through the city. Just let him have fun. Yeah. No one's going to complain. Like. Well, even the Spider-Man render, because obviously like all those shots are rendered uh, and obviously they mm. uh, most of the resources went to making a good looking Spider-Man. Right. But yeah. like they really nailed it because oh, like yeah. 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 it's really good. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'll put on the costume, but I'm never going to look like that. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah. Speaking of us, bringing it back to the Spider-Man versus each of the other ones. uh, Speaking of suits, by the way, uh, Toby's suit, Raimi's version of Spider-Man. That's the best suit. Don't talk to me. We're done. Next. No Way Home last suit. Okay. That's, that's the that's only the one. Suit. <laughs> Other than that, like, but we haven't like fully seen it yet. True, right? true we got a yeah. little glimpse of it for like thirty seconds. It. Yeah, we but it was it. so good and comic book yeah. accurate. Oh my yeah. god! Once yeah, we see a really full good. movie with him using that suit, yeah, then we'll talk again. Right yes. now, I fully agree. Toby right. suit yeah. is yes. by far the best. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. No, right. no, I'm right. not alone on this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. We're all in agreement. That was easier than I thought it would be. I wanted to say something because. As much as I love this movie, there is one thing I don't like about it. Um, did an amazing job. She did a good job, but I don't like Kirsten Dunst in this movie. She pissed Ooh. me off so much. She okay. pissed me off. Okay, I mean, okay, listen, she was good, whatever, but her character pissed me off so much. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. pissed me off. I, I don't know about you guys. I was just watching it. And I was just like, okay, mm-hmm. like, why are you going back and forth? Why are you going back and forth? Okay, wait, why are you trying to like? Kiss the guy upside down to see if he's Spider Man. Why are you trying to kiss <laughs> yeah, Tobey Maguire okay. when you're engaged? Yeah, I really didn't like that. That one scene. Like, like, can you just lie down there? Oh, come on. Yeah, and then you know, it's, like, it's not him. You're just, like, she's like at the at the cafe or something like that with Toby, and is like, uh, hey, you know, let's just kiss one kiss. But like, yo, you're engaged, bro. Like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? And like, just pissed me off. She, she was like, um, you know, oh, why didn't you come to my thing? It's like you never show up for my stuff. Oh, I'm not talking anymore. It's like calm down yeah. like like the guy lost Relax. his like scooter like literally got ran over like no, <laughs> something he, happened to him yeah he showed up he tried showing up yeah. and let him in yeah <laughs> which i want to talk about I the usher mean, after i, I want to talk about the usher after but yes yes i like i don't know i just i was not a huge fan of kirsten dunst uh yeah yeah i see what you mean okay yeah. wait let me let me change it not kirsten dunst but mary jane mary jane mary jane, jane. Yeah. yes I kirsten think, dunst i think good. i don't think she's a problem I don't no think no, no, no yeah, yeah. yeah. But kirsten yeah. dunst was great Sorry just the, about that. the writing and yeah I, the, way, the way jane. she's framed in this movie yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's, not a great person yeah she's not really like extreme well she's valuable to the story if you start to dive deeper into the themes that are related with oh, this yes, movie yeah, yeah. but if you just take it at like face value as a superhero movie, she's like, yeah, it's like, okay, cool. Like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I just would have left her to not exist yeah, yeah. pretty much, which to be fair, she's not necessarily in the movie that much. She's just more inferred because she's an important role in the decisions that Peter yeah, Parker she, she's makes. She's the B plot. Yeah, yeah. exactly. All, yeah. There are many B plots in this movie. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe she's like the D plot. The yeah, e they, plot yeah. Whatever. Like put her down a bit more, but yeah. But honestly, I have to say she's probably my least favorite, like Peter Parker love interest. In any single movie, probably, and show or anything. She, yeah. Just her, her adaptation of it, I, I really yeah. did not like it. I'll, I'll yeah. agree to that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, I, I was not a huge fan. Gwen uh-huh. Stacy's on uh, Amazing Spider Man, like Andrew Garfield's, was probably one of my favorites. I don't know about you guys, but. Emma Stone, yeah. 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 It, she, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Gwen Stacy's Emma Stone, yes. I don't know why I thought I said her name as Gwen yeah. Stacy. I was like, wait, <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> but yeah. I never actually thought of that. Yeah, yeah I, think, a, I think you're right with that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I just, yeah. I'm just thinking about it, and I'm like, because they had such good chemistry, you know, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's valid. That's a valid point. Very fair point. Uh, I would say, if we're going to... Let's let's give the cast a little bit more credit. Yes. Um, I want to talk about uh, Rosemary Harris. Mm-hmm. Uh, she is... Uh, same thing as Toby's my Spider-Man. She is my Aunt May. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Her performance, although very minimal, extremely impactful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
early on in the movie we're brought over to toby or sorry uh peter parker uh <laughs> is, um we're brought over to his birthday party right and yeah. and, and we go through a little bit of dialogue between uh osborne or sorry harry um and you know sort of his vengeance to find spider-man and everything like that uh and i'll, I'll talk about later if i remember but uh, i'm not i mean I'm, I'm sure lots of you agreed the, the adaptation to make you know um him into the second coming of green goblin seemed stupid so <laughs> i i didn't love it and i th- i think it wasn't even raimi's idea i think at the very end he was kind of forced to throw it in there by the uh, studio mm-hmm. uh, which is a lot of the issues with spider-man 3 but we'll get into that if we yeah. ever watch it but mm-hmm. uh, um yeah so you go through the whole scene and then uh, they all leave the party and um, you know peter finds out that uh aunt may's uh, struggling to pay the uh, mortgage you know and um I love the scene where she goes to get him the money and, and gives him $20 and like obviously Peter really needs it but like you know he knows her situation yeah. and just like Ro- Rosemary Harris's performance in that like 14 second clip is incredible like yeah. it it yeah. it was it's oh, it was it's, so good. It's heartbreaking. It's though. heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah. It, it got so me. Good. Like yeah. I literally teared up. Like uh, not the first time throughout that throughout the, a superhero movie. Dark Knight got me a few times where I was like, "Damn, that's pretty impactful." But uh, Spider Man just hit so many chords with me. Like it, mm-hmm. every single time, I was like, "Damn!" Like is this really gonna make me like get going again. Like damn. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was, Especially yeah. watching it now compared to when we were. Oh, yeah. This yeah. movie has so many details and yeah. so many themes in it that you just like as a superhero at face at, at face value. It's a good superhero movie. Yeah. Yeah. It follows so many uh, accurate, um, you know, Spider-Man arc related things. That's why it's highly regarded as well. But like then you dive into the deeper meaning of it. And then that's where you realize like this isn't just a top tier superhero movie. This is a top tier movie yeah. Like, yeah. No, on there great. all time. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many little things you don't notice as a kid. And then you come back to it and it's like, oh, wow. Okay, now it's real. Yeah. Us living through some of the problems that they're going through. It's like, yeah, okay, I get it now. Makes a lot more sense. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, uh, like exactly like you said, it's you're seeing at May. Like, I mean, okay, for some people, $20 is like almost nothing. For some people, $20 is a lot. And you mm-hmm. definitely see um, Rosemary Harris's like portrayal of at May really like go to show exactly how much that twenty dollars really means to them? Yeah, yeah, um, and it's so good. It's so it's, good. It's incredible. Like yeah. we we talked about last episode in Interstellar and uh, McConaughey's uh, amazing performance in that one particular scene where he's watching the uh, videos from his uh, kids, mm-hmm. and it really does take a special actor to be able to portray so much emotion in such a small time. Although McConaughey had more time, but yeah, she yeah. literally like, has like, she had 14 seconds, right? Like it's that one's so, so yeah. small, so good. It's yeah. unbelievable. Like I, there's another scene too, where like, um, where Peter is telling, um, may about how he's the one that was actually at fault oh yeah for ben's uh, passing. Oh, God. That was so good. And she's just so kind of like good. on the side and he's like trying to reach out and be like, you know, like you understand, right? Like, I'm sorry. And then she kind of like pulls back. Yeah. Yeah. The, the oh, hand man. pulling back. So yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. She's yes. really good. She did really, really good. Yeah, uh, honestly. And then she got like one of the best scenes and or quotes mm-hmm. from any Spider-Man movie, honestly. Mm-hmm. I have it here. I, I don't, yeah, I wrote the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a long too. dialogue, too. Which one do you have? This one. Yeah. I think you're about to say it, Alex. Yeah, so it. Oh, so you want me to read it? <laughs> yeah, read it, read it. Go for okay, it. Okay, <laughs> let me find it because it's a thick part of it it's i have like five quotes in here and this is one of them and it takes up like a good chunk of the page oh <laughs> like, boy i just have like that one last sentence of it i, like, I had to copy the whole thing okay like, fair, fair. I, I didn't copy like the entire entire thing but I, I copied a good chunk of it so uh if anybody's wondering what like what we're referencing here uh it's when peter is sort of at the point of the movie where he's pretty much comfortable with being peter parker and not spider-man and he's been just kind of cruising around and just enjoying life as mm-hmm. is and not worrying about the stress of being Spider-Man, which, uh, you know, was obviously taking a toll of the you know, dual life, which is a big message yeah. in this movie. Yeah. yeah. Huge. Um, 
And so he goes over to uh, Aunt May's and that she has to leave the house because it's for foreclosure. So she's moving everything out. And um, anyways, so uh, one of the uh, kids, I actually don't even remember the kid's name. Maybe neighbor. Henry. Neighbor? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Henry. Henry, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah. so Henry asks uh, Peter where, you know, where Spider-Man is and whatnot. And so Aunt May gives this uh, beautiful, beautiful fucking speech. I love this. <laughs> so... Um, she, I, I don't know where it starts. I might have skipped a bit into it, but anyways, this is where this is where I started. It says we need a hero, courageous, sacrificing uh, people, settling, uh, setting examples for all of us. Everybody loves a hero. People line up for them, cheer for them, scream their names, and years later, tell how they stood in the rain for hours just to get a glimpse of one um, of the one who told them to hold on for a second longer. I believe there's a hero in all of us that keeps us honest, gives us strength, makes us noble. And finally gets us t- to die with pride, even though sometimes we have to be steady and give up the things we most, uh, we want most, even our dreams. Um, yeah. That was I, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> even reading it, I was envisioning the scene and it's just yeah, I mean, like, as you were reading it, it's yeah. so yeah. good. Yeah. I like, it's one of those like showstopper quotes where you go, wait, what just happened? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's incredible. It's so, so good. I love um, man. Uh, she's so good in this movie. Yeah, the way yeah. She, the way she put it out there too was like amazing. She like had the perfect little pauses there too. Yeah, it's like you kind of sit back and you're like, wait, you know what? It it does keep us honest. It does give us strength. It's it does incredible. make us noble. You know, it's yeah, it's just dissecting every yeah. single yeah. little part of it. Yeah, ah, she was amazing, and yeah. especially the writing too. I mean, I I don't know who wrote it. I don't I don't think it was uh, Sam Raimi. No, right? I, but, uh, no, he's not. He the had, no, he's not the screenplay writer. But I mean, whoever did the screenplay like did an amazing job, and yeah, she portrayed 100%. it out perfectly. Yeah, yeah. It, she does a great job. Uh, that entire scene, and it is the quote is so relatable because it's not. It's listen, like a majority of this movie is a superhero movie, like I guess, but like behind it, as we said already many times, it's a movie about life in yeah. general, and that's that's where movies are so so good. You know, like you can sit through your two hour, three hour Avengers film, but like if you don't come out with something of of you know actual uh you know a revelation or it doesn't have to be like the biggest impact necessarily just but something just a that little itch bit. that goes yeah. yeah you know what like i get it like that was good yeah. and even like some of the worst films sometimes are able to pull that off and you can still kind of be like oh yeah it was, uh, that was good like i get yeah. it but uh at this scale with uh you know so much on the line with the brand of Spider-Man to write a story like this and say this is what we're going to lean into we're really going to go for and in 2004 as well <laughs> yeah. Yeah. is a risk mm-hmm. so that was one of my questions like i'm sh- already from your your nodding to for the studio to be like hey um or not the studio but for like Ramey and his writers to be like hey Sony we're going to do this and we're going to make a whole thing that is going to have uh, themes of of love, despair, loss, uh, you know, just so much. And, and arguably a part, a big chunk of this is mental health. Mm-hmm. In 2004 is not the no, easiest thing to do. And even now in 2023, we just said like almost 20 years later, we're still not getting that message across all the time because studios would rather, and especially with the brand of Spider-Man, yeah. they would rather make a quick buck than oh, make a sure. story like this. If they thought, hey, you know what, this is going to flop, pull the cord, make something like Spider-Man 3, sell as much as we can, and call it a day. They don't yeah. care. They but would never pass nowadays. Yeah. They, they, no. they've, they've tried, I guess, with like, and we home a bit. Yeah, okay. It's, it has some of those bit, themes. Yeah. It's very minimal, though. It's yeah. like passed by, is, like, hey, yeah. whatever, next. The you know? impact you get from No Way Home compared to this is nowhere near comparable. It's yeah. the difference between, like, insinuating it in No Way Home and then, like, having a film like this and just fully going Straight at up it. saying it. Yeah. 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 But you also have to remember, too, though, that that's, this whole thing is Peter Parker's whole character, right? Which is yeah. something that everybody... I mean, that's one of the major points why I absolutely love Spider-Man, right, is the whole Peter Parker character. Um, it's you're, He's relatable. Mm-hmm. And yeah. th- this whole movie is relatable in a sense, like either you can have a work life is separate, love life is separate, your personal life is separate, but it's trying to find that balance between the two. And Aunt May's quote, um, well, uh, Rosemary Harris, her quote is incredible because it's it kind of telling you, hey, you can do both. You're you're fine. Like just push through it. You're okay. It's yeah. 
And in hearing that, especially knowing what um, you've gone through, and especially knowing what Peter Parker's gone through, it's insane. It's it's it was well delivered. It was an amazing like line. One of my favorite lines. I have it written down as my one of my favorite quotes. I have one that might. It, it doesn't up it necessarily. It's not better than this one, but I feel like it's equal in impact. So you know when uh, Peter finally uh, he he goes down the elevator and we get that great that great <laughs> scene, oh yeah <laughs> that great little dialogue uh you know does, does the suit itch uh alvaro you're wearing a, the suit right now does it itch <laughs> sometimes <laughs> <laughs> so quite uh, accurate apparently uh but uh he anyway so yeah he, like obviously he realizes like he's losing his vision you know he starts wearing his glasses again he can't he's losing yeah. the ability he, to be he's losing the spider-man part of his life he's yeah. losing it in him yeah and so he goes to the doctor and uh, and he obviously doesn't say that it's happening to him because he wants to like mask sort of, you know, whatever reason, whether he's just as an anybody would be maybe self-conscious about saying stuff like that or possibly just, you know, he really didn't want to make sure people didn't know he was Spider-Man. Yeah. Who knows I mean, which was so funny. He's like, it's my dream. It's actually, it's my neighbor's dream. It's, or, yeah. It's my neighbor's thought. Like he wasn't like, sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure the doctor was like, okay, like, come on, kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so the doctor says, um, essentially like what Peter Parker said in that scene is more or less like he's losing his, the battle between like, figure out what's right and like what he should do. Like he's lost, he, he's confused. And so the the doctor says, um, it's got to make you mad to know uh, who you are. Your soul disappears. Nothing is as bad as uncertainty. You always have a choice. I love that quote so much yeah. because it's, I, this quote, this quote and this entire movie just have like, just relatable reference after reference yeah. after reference. It's just so good. Like I, but there's something about just Spider-Man in general. He is the most relatable yeah. superhero probably out there ever. Yeah. Just because he's this regular, essentially kid, right? Yeah. Sure, this one, he's in university, so maybe not a kid. But his, every problem he goes through in this movie, everyone has dealt with at one point. I've written a few down, like getting fired. Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure we've all been there. Uh, struggling with school, financial problems, girl problems, dealing with who he is on the inside, trying to find himself. It's every single thing about Peter Parker is so relatable to every kid in the world, which is mm-hmm. why he's probably the most popular up there with Batman, of course, like we mentioned. Yeah. But probably the most popular superhero because every little kid wants to be him. Every little kid is him in a way, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure Stanley said this once in like a like an interview or I think he was doing like a, a speech, I think. Yeah. And he was saying how uh, when he pitched Spider-Man at first, like the whole studio was like, why do you want to create a bug? That's named that uh, like after a spider that somebody hates, and you're gonna give him life problems, and you're gonna give him like so many problems that like people have, and they're like, no, superheroes are supposed to be like perfect. Like, why? Are you, what are you no. doing? Mm-hmm. And it ended up being like who he is now, mm-hmm. which is because everybody loves something to relate to, and he like you just said it best. You know, it's he is the most probably relatable character out there. It's like uh, Stanley's cameo in Into the Spider Verse when mm-hmm. uh, Miles Morales is buying a Spider Man yeah, suit. Right. You know, yeah. It always fits. That's yeah. the first oh, thing I thought oh, of, actually. Man. Yeah. It yeah, might not fit now, but it will fit. I just got goosebumps. Oh my god. Damn. I just got goosebumps. So good. There's oh. so many there's so many quotes that are so good, but there I have some quick little short little bits. Um, which there was a like one of my favorite ones as soon as like the movie's starting and he's like swinging around with the pizza. Mm-hmm. There's one guy like just randomly just like he stole that guy's pizza. Oh, yeah. I was dying. <laughs> I was watching it. I was like, I don't remember this. That was so funny. Oh, Actually, uh, fun fact about that. Speaking of Stan Lee, yeah, uh, he, yeah, it was supposed. It was he recorded that dialogue. He was supposed to be him. That was the cameo originally. Been so much better. But yeah. they cut it because there's like issues with the footage and stuff. So they ended up having to re re uh, shoot his it. His cameo yeah. is terrible. Yeah, well. yeah I he, honestly like if you barely want to count it as a cameo, it, yeah. he, I had to search up. I thought it was him, the guy dodging the yeah, yeah, yeah. the debris yeah, from the building. Really I was like, I'm pretty sure it's him, but I had to search it up just to make sure. Yeah, it's not good. You don't even like see his face. I know. Yeah. yeah. There's a, the better cameo is Joey Diaz. I don't know if you guys caught that. In the train, after he stops the train, when Doc yeah. Ock comes back oh, on, yeah. the first guy to step in front of him That's is Joey right. Diaz. Yeah, that I is. Like, yeah, you're gonna have to get that. past me first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was wondering where I recognized him from. I was like, why does this like look familiar? familiar. Yeah, it's, it's the better cameo, which makes it's no true, sense. Yeah. How does Stan Lee have a that bad cameo? That scene. Uh, okay, oh, I'll bring that up. That's such a. Uh, iconic scene. Oh yeah, uh, the whole train the scene. Whole thing, the whole. Yeah. It's one of my favorite scenes. It's yeah, 
and it's such a good scene and they knew it too because according to uh the internet uh, that was shot first actually uh, yeah oh, before yeah, anything yeah, else cool and it makes sense because it's like such a impactful um scene and it happens uh, although it there's a little bit of like inconsistency in it so spider-man gets shocked right so he takes the mask off yeah then he jumps in front of the train does the whole like heroic uh you know pull the train to a stop which shows off peter parker's like unbelievable strength biceps though yeah, yeah. insane the whole <laughs> yeah. thing was ripping hey, apart oh toby man. put in some work a oh, lot yeah, of it was helped ripped. but like he put in work <laughs> yeah. yeah i'll give him credit that's not easy um uh, but uh yeah so like he takes the mask off and then the the conductor's like i can't stop it so he does the whole like amazing heroic thing which was slightly replicated in the first uh tom holland solo movie mm-hmm. with yeah, uh the ship. but then like the iron man cracking, comes in yeah mm-hmm it was a cheap cop out. I didn't like it, so I was no, like, yeah. "Garbage." <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes, but I also like the fact that he failed at it too. I like yeah. that. I yeah. like that he failed. It's uh, because he, you know, he's not ready to be Spider Man. Yeah, that, it know? works so, within the yeah. movie. Yes, I'll give it so that. But like, also, it's still it was a cheap yeah. cop out. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I guess you kind of redeemed it. But mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, they did in uh, in uh, Across the Spider Verse. Uh, they yeah. referenced it, and he like pull, tries to pull it to to a stop. I don't know. Actually, I. Oh wait, no! In the wait, Into the Spider Verse, when they're introducing Peter Parker, like at the very yeah, beginning, yeah, that's it. It's yes. like, yeah, okay, obviously, yes, yes. I stopped the train, and they show yeah. the scene for a tiny bit. Okay, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I think there was like a ref, or maybe it's the video game. There's another reference to it where they attempt. Oh, it is in the video it game. It is the video game. In the first Spider Man, uh, uh, he tries to do it and fails, and he goes something like, "Oh, that usually works," and then they just oh. continue from there. Yeah, yeah, I remember I forgot, that. That's yeah. where it's yes. from. Yeah, there you go. Perfect <laughs> oh reference, God. everybody. I get ready. Forgot about that until now. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh man, I'm so oh. excited for the game. Okay. Anyways, um, <laughs> moving on. Uh, but what was I? Yeah. So, the, anyways, scene, yeah. yeah. So yes, the, the only inconsistency about that entire scene that I, like made me kind of laugh when I realized is that he jumps in front of the train and then like um, the the crowd is shocked when he finally gets knocked out and then they like kind of carry him like you know a prophet across yeah, you know yeah. and he's then they're kind of shocked kid. to like oh we can see his face oh you know he's just a kid and it's like okay but like did you not see his face earlier when he was like in front of the chain yeah, so it's like a yeah, little bit of inconsistency that kind of made me laugh but like i didn't really yeah. care um but that scene where they uh where they uh the kids hand him the mask back and they're like oh like you know you know your secret's safe mm-hmm. don't worry and yeah. everybody agrees on the train mm-hmm. that's the same scene uh, that really hit home in the Miles Morales version of the video game, uh, where the very end, have any you guys have I, I know played, about the ending? I, I played the whole. You played the whole I, game. I, I, I've seen. I've watched it on YouTube. Spoiler warning: yeah, okay. If you haven't played the game, but you should have by now, because yeah, the next game that's coming out yeah. is going to include both of them. So if you haven't, yeah. then that's on you. <laughs> uh, but uh, there's your warning. But at the very end, where he, once he f- defeats uh, his best friend there. Uh, and he drops to the ground and like you can see all of him and his mother comes over and like I think at that point she already knew he was Spider-Man I think he already told her mm-hmm. I don't remember I think so yeah, yeah, tell yeah her, she, de- she definitely I think yeah, she yeah. I think he came back pretty wounded once into the apartment and then she found him and then like it was okay, pretty much the right. gig was mm-hmm. up so then um, she pretty much like supported him from there uh, but anyways so yeah it comes crashing down and, like you could see everything and so um there's a crowd that blocks reporters who come over right. and they're like yes. quick like the reporters are coming and then so they're like here's your mask and like we'll we'll take care of them so that's the same feeling i got yeah, from it and i was like true. oh it's so I good about that. and i love that i love how the yeah. writers for the video games are so good too though they're so, yeah. so good. good yes <laughs> oh Which, my god honestly when we're talking about spider-mans and peter parker's i don't think we're giving enough credit to the, like the video game yeah peter parker and spider-man they, uh, they're, they're so just as good uh, voice yeah. actor is uh, so yuri yes uh, what the what to know yeah yes. or no that's that's um that's, that's, no, that's the, the character in the game oh, <laughs> right like what are the chances you put the I name know. of a no it's yuri let the wall something like that um, I, i'm 90 percent sure yeah. i was googling lowenthal it. lowenthal there we yes. go okay yes. yeah, yeah no trust me we too when i first heard the <laughs> name I, I confused it for so long i had to like train my brain not to say the mm-hmm. in-game character um <laughs> oh, yeah but Okay, I just, I just wanted to quickly jump out because we are talking about... Uh, we r- briefly ran into the Spider-Man, Spider, uh, Peter Parker and Spider-Man. The video game, Spider-Man, I think is the strongest one. I just wanted to, oh, I just wanted to jump in yeah, and say that. Yeah, there's a big debate about yes. who's the strongest. Yeah, I he's mean, like, probably the strongest. You see like, him do the Sinister Six. You yeah. see him take them all on. No problem. I mean, okay, well, no, no problem. Well, mm. He breaks some bones. He you know, gets details, it back up. Details. Yes, <laughs> he breaks some bones, gets back up. Obviously, you know, has to do it. Ooh. But he takes care of 
all of them. Yeah. By himself. By himself. Yeah. You know, and like Peter Parker, uh, mm. Tobey Maguire's one. Yeah. In the third one, you know, he needs Harry Osborn's help to even just take care of Venom and Sandman. That's true. Yeah, Which I mean, to be true. fair, Venom is a huge like very character, strong. very strong character. Um, and then Tom Holland needs Iron Man's help for pretty much almost all of it. Yeah, and, and then he even needs the other Spider-Man's help as well. And yeah, no, no way home. That's, that's it. So he's like, probably the weakest. He yeah, he, he's yeah. Can't do anything alone. Yeah. He hasn't done anything alone. So well, he far, has a right? lot of technology to help him, yeah. you know, and everything. He got the whole the yeah, Stark no. suit and everything yeah. like that. He's so got the like, iron suit. And he's got yeah, yeah, you know no. dog ock freaking legs. On, like yeah. and he has everything. I mean, yeah. I mean it's cool. I I get it. Like it's shit. all MCUified, right? Yeah, it's yeah. bigger, yeah, it's better. It's better is a stretch. Above. I'm very but to excited. them, right? Yeah. To them, if it's bigger, it's better. If yeah. All right. I want to see the next Spider-Man because he's supposed to be alone, right? He's supposed to be the the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. You know what? Honestly. Cut it! Don't no really? like I'm done. No, no more, no more Tom Holland. No okay. offense, wow. damn. He had his run with mm. all his solo movies plus his Avengers appearances. He's done. He's done. What I want to see is a live action Miles Morales. That's oh, what we need enough. to see. They next. need to bring him into the MCU because that's they need, what they're yeah, do. yeah, they're yeah. gonna do it 100. percent Of course, of course. Mm. Who do you think would play Miles Morales? I just, I, just, <laughs> I don't know. I do, that name? I don't care like as much about. Guy, just, I see things. searching. Yeah, I see searching. Caleb McClellan. Yes, me too. There you go. Me too. I agree. Same thing. Absolutely. Perfect. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. Yeah, that's a good call. Yeah. I'm good with anybody. I don't care. Yeah. I just want to see his story played out on an actual, like, give it a full, because all we've gotten really are, I believe there's a snippet of a TV show, I, I think, or maybe he's mm-hmm. not even the main character in the TV show. He's just a part of it. Um, cartoon I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he isn't, he isn't a few episodes. Okay, or, yeah. So he's not even from like what a I remember. prominent thing. Yeah. Yeah. And no, then like, Charles the Gambino, I think. Yeah, yeah something like exactly. That, yeah. So the game and the the, the, the game he got his whole yeah. game. Yeah, and then yeah, and then another cartoon. Everything isn't even live action yet. Yeah. So Which, by the way, the Spider Verse movies are the best Spider Man media out there. I don't even try. Um, okay, mm. I Into the Spider Verse is one of the best animated movies. Okay, yes, yes, yes. okay, yes. yes. And okay. It We're good. Beats <laughs> any sp- live action Spider Man movie any day of the week. Okay, mm, Spider Man Two. This one that we're talking about right now. Yeah, I don't know is, about that. Is okay. Oh boy, great movie. You're They're both movie. very, very good. Mm, to me, Spider Verse. I takes can't. It. Oh my god. You know what? Okay, the way the movie was done, I guess I have to say Into the Spider Verse. Yeah, is probably a better movie. But I personally enjoyed Spider Man Two. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. A bit more yeah. than yeah. Into the Spider Verse. I guess for me it would be like Into the Spider Verse and then Spider Man Two. That's fair. You know, in terms in terms of like putting them for how they were made, um, they they put so much work no, it's, into it's Into by Spider-Verse. far the best. It's, it's made. Yeah. crazy. Yeah. To I, me, to me, it's also my favorite. We were talking about favorite Spider Man. We yeah. mentioned maybe movies. Mm-hmm. To me, it's the Spider Verse movie. That oh takes, yeah. 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 That's good. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. Damn. I can't argue with that. I really. That's, the, the second one that, that came out this year. It was so really good. good. It was amazing. It was amazing. So good. Wasn't it, Alex? <laughs> Damn it. The reason I I'm calling call you out. out. I, the reason I'm calling you out is because you all didn't I like it too the, much. The, okay, so for <laughs> no, context, don't say it. Don't for, say for, it. Con, for context, <laughs> the reasoning behind what I said was that it wasn't as good as the first Spider Man <laughs> of the two cartoon variations. Not of movies in general mm-hmm. and that's where a lot of people i know took it out of context they're like you're stupid you don't know what you're talking about and i'm like no that's not what i'm saying i just didn't love this version it just felt like it, it I, honestly at one point it just felt like a big trailer to the final part two which is what i am excited for i'm very, I'm very much excited. looking forward to it yeah but mm-hmm. like Nice Come on! Four star rating there, eh, Mr. <laughs> Alex. I did it out of pity. <laughs> out of pity, oh boy. I, I felt nah, bad. Nah. Everyone's gonna keep and attacking me. So each their own. It's all good. <laughs> four stars is no. I watched four it again recently. Four movie. stars, like it's it. It's a good movie. I'm not again. It's nah, not. I'm, we're, we're, it's a good we're movie. We're you, know? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, we're good. Once, so anyways, once, the sec- once the second part comes out, maybe you'll maybe you'll change your mind, but we'll see. Okay, it yeah. would have been sick. Four and a half stars. Been. Four and a half. <laughs> they said March, right? March twenty twenty four. Yeah, it's it's, it's already it's, been delayed. Yeah, no, 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 it's, it's delayed. Yeah, that. we're not seeing yeah. it for a bit. It yeah, would have been yeah, yeah. so cool if we would have gotten like straight away in March. Yeah, no, no time. We're getting waste. the another October. Uh, probably. Release. It will probably. I'm gonna guess 2025 though. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's not next year. It's so much work to make those movies, like the animated ones. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can't believe people thought that that was going to come out like, what, seven months later? Some of that? Yeah, no way. Much. Are you kidding me? When I saw that, I laughed. I was like, hopefully, no way. No, the un- unless they'd already pretty much made it. But no, then, like, I saw like a tweet that said they haven't even like done a clip for it. And I was like, no, okay, yeah. it's done. I it's saw done. like <laughs> a different voice actors were just like, yeah, we haven't even like they, they finished, recorded anything. Yeah, we haven't recorded no, exactly. anything. They finished working on Across the Spider Verse like two weeks before it was. Yeah, released. that's right. That's what I heard. So how are you going to release a whole other movie? Yeah. six seven months later. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah. I, I man. man, um, I wanted to get back because we were saying kind of like. Stopping the train scene is probably one of the one of the craziest scenes on the movie. Yeah, I just wanted to say that one of my favorite scenes as well was getting Spider Man. Uh, when Spider Man got his power back, like half of it back, I guess, and he was like jumping from roof to roof, and he like <laughs> fell and he like broke his <laughs> back. My back. <laughs> my back. Oh my back! Oh, oh my so god! Good. Yeah. I, it's, I mean, first of all, it's 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 he's realizing that he can do both, um, technically, uh, and then him also being like, let's do it. But then, like, the reason why he kind of fails, I'm assuming, is because, again, he, he was not there yet, right? And then that's yeah. where we get that that full realization afterwards when at the cafe and everything when he really has to go save MJ. MJ? Yes, yeah. I don't know why I blanked there. Um, but a crazy, crazy. And then, fun fact, he actually hurt his back. <laughs> oh, actually? <laughs> yeah, he actually hurt his back, making that mm-hmm. scene, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so, like, when he's actually saying my back, he actually hurt his back. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Wow, the yeah. dedication to the craft. That's Let's it. Go. Yeah, Tom Cruise out here. <laughs> I yeah, was about to say the exact same thing. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah honestly. Yeah. No, yeah, I, I, I love that uh, that scene. It's it. Is it the same rooftop as like the first first time he jumped? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, but it looks similar. It right? looks very like, similar because yeah. the first time there's a crane. Yeah, I remember okay, he's like trying yeah. to shoot the, trying the, to th- the thwip up, thing. up and away. <laughs> yeah, up and away. <laughs> oh, Real quick, he was thirty years old almost when they were doing this movie. He's born yeah. in 75. This came wow. out in 2004. He was almost 30 years old. Damn. Wow. That's nuts. I just had to search it up real quick. So you're like, yeah, he hurt his back. Like, how old is he? Yeah. I mean, That's I remember amazing. when when the first one came out and I watched it, I was like, I, uh, yeah, when I saw the first one, the first Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire, I was like, yo, they're not in high school. No. Yeah. There are no Jans in high school. <laughs> but like maybe 25 years old when they filmed yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. But, it, but it's on brand for the era. There was yeah. tons of movies with high oh, schoolers who were yeah. like, just not full high adults. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it made no sense. Yeah. Like if you look at Scream, they're all pretty much adults playing high schoolers there being killed There you go, yeah. So, killer. I mean, you can't blame them for that. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's the Hollywood way, right? They, yeah. You know, they don't like to actually cast... Kids? Pe- kids, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. Yeah. No, exactly. <laughs> Sorry, no offense to any teenagers that thought they were going to break in. Listen. Good luck. It's It's... Just do your background and earn your credits. You'll make it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> You'll make it one day. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Uh, all right. So we're more or less at the halfway point or maybe I don't know, we call this the halfway. I could keep going forever, but uh, we'll call this the halfway point for now. Uh, so we're going to do the quiz. As always, our uh, last week's winner, Alvaro, who... Uh, this guy. This dunked guy. on Will a little bit, actually, to be honest. You're uh, going to call that a dunk? Damn. Yeah, it, was, it was not as close as I thought it would be, but um, today we have a very similar quiz in terms of statistics is where it's really going to be at today. So um, before I jump into my questions, I just want to give you context for what was actually playing at the time. Uh, so it was actually a pretty stacked summer uh, for Spider-Man. Uh, interestingly... Uh, Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban came out. Uh, that ended up grossing seven hundred ninety-five million. Yeah, obviously, very mm-hmm. solid. It's Harry yep. Potter, unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Uh, Napoleon Dynamite came out. That grossed forty-six million. That's one of those movies that didn't do so well at the time it came out, but you know, years passed and people, people after, after, like yeah. A yeah, stupid comedy, and bad. then people love yeah. it. So. Yeah. Uh, Garfield came out, <laughs> nice. the first one. Yeah, I, I remember watching one. that quite a few times. Oh, yeah. yeah, me too. I had yep. that on a, on a ripped disc. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Oops. Whoops. Oh, uh, that grossed $203 million. Wow. Ooh, damn. Uh, I want to mention The Terminal, which is uh, probably one of the weirdest Tom Hanks performances, but fun. I enjoyed it. Fun. I enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It's it an interesting fun. concept. Of, uh, not, um, I was surprised with Spielberg, though. That was a bit yes, weird. Yes, uh, That's so, very true. That's yeah. true. But uh, a lot of it shot in LA, but the exterior shots of the airport are from uh, our beloved Montreal. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's uh, cool. Dorval Airport. So that was uh, <laughs> nice. pretty cool sure. to see. 
the uh, white chicks came out. Oh, by the way, uh, the terminal grossed 218 million. If anybody cared, okay, uh, that's um, actually more than I would thought yeah, it would. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming like Tom Hanks' name and Spielberg's name just yeah. pulled that movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. pretty much. Yeah. It's a fun movie. Uh, yeah, it was good. It was good, but I, I don't imagine it being popular for people like like our rage to be like, oh, I want to go see that. Yeah, you know? no, no, no. For it sure. was probably. Yeah. Older, yeah. 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 I'm going to say, yeah. like, bombs and stuff. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. That's okay. It doesn't yeah, no, of course. Yeah. Yeah. You need, no, you they're need not allowed movies. to go see movies, no, Will. No, yeah. <laughs> you need those movies to no, reach 100%. that demographic. Of course. 80 for Brady. You know, 80, stuff I was like just that. thinking 80, 80 for Brady, Brady was good. <laughs> yeah. So good. I, I loved did. it. I loved yeah, it. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, White Chicks came out as well. Grossed 113 million. Hmm. And uh, The Notebook came out. 117 million. The Notebook? 117? Yep. I yeah, be no, so that's much more for right? one of the most it. recognized <laughs> romance yeah. yep. of all time. Oh, man. very low. Yeah. Okay. But uh, Ryan Gosling, man, what are you but doing? But interestingly, does anybody want to guess the average budget? This will help you for the quiz. But does anyone want to guess the average budget for uh, the movies I just listed that came out? Hmm. Average. We're, we're back in two thousand and four. So we're eighty mil. I don't know if I was supposed to go first. I mean, this is just a guess. No, it's just a guess. It's not a part of the quiz. I was going to go like 75. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're both like in the ballpark. So the average is like between 40 and 80 million per movie. So So I'm guessing Harry Potter puts it a bit above them. Yeah. Harry Potter is at like like 60, if I remember correctly. It was actually like in the middle of the ballpark. Oh, yeah. They're. Harry Potter franchise obviously they're all going to do well o- I guess there's not that much CGI back then in Azkaban not as much yeah. the, the real fighting really begins in like 6, 7, 8 right? yeah pretty much but like it's cheap like uh, effects and stuff yeah, like that not yeah. a lot of yeah. CGI necessarily no, there's true. a little bit for the Quidditch matches and stuff like that that's <laughs> like another that. one of those movies you watch and you go oh, yeah. <laughs> the character models aren't so hot in this <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's but, okay. uh, we, we love it for the story that's it that's <laughs> it uh, alright so to start the quiz off, I'll start off right back where we have our budget. So, what was the budget for Spider Man 2? Champion goes first. Champion so goes time. first. Right. Uh, budget. Um, wait, was the average including Spider Man, by the way? Is that what you said before? I'm not going to answer that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. um, I'm going to go with maybe. Okay. Second Spider Man. Um, yeah. Already established Spider Man 1. Yeah. Which was very well received as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going 100 mil. Okay. Yeah. I was going to go more. I'll say 140. Okay. Let's hear it. All right. So uh, Will takes the first one. Damn it. It was 200. <laughs> what? Yeah. In 04? When, Whoa. So it's incredible. That's an incredible huge. budget. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. I second guess myself sure. as well. <laughs> yeah. I, I had to look at it twice. I was so confused. It, it's, it's like hitting my brain right now because I'm pretty sure we did like for Whoa. Interstellar episode last week. It was not 200. It was less. It was like it was 170, less. right? Uh, um, yeah, something, something like, like that. that, and like Interstellar, and Sp- Spider Man. Um, <laughs> okay. I don't know. I'm just thinking, I mean, right? I mean, like I, I get it if you're doing like all this scenes where Spider Man's there CGI, and you really need it. But like, that's a lot of money. Oh, maybe it was just like more expensive back then to do less. You know what I mean? I guess. Yeah. Well, we yeah. talk about the CGI characters and there is, and obviously Spider-Man, anytime he is swinging more or less or being thrown through a wall, CGI. Right. So that's a big chunk of it. And Whoa. if you really, because like I said, Dude. Spider-Man holds up CGI wise compared to anything else in Spider-Man 2. Yeah. You you could watch it that easy. That model. But yeah. obviously yeah. the model has to be like perfect. Yeah. yeah and there's a lot great. of close-ups too. So when you get close oh, yeah. to a model, you better put your all your money behind Whoa. it yeah so, there was this one scene by the way i'm I, i'm sure you guys noticed and were like that's sick transition was the transition when spider-man's swinging and then you kind of like zoom out and it's through like dr activities is like glass yeah. oh yeah that yeah was it's so good sick that was yeah. so, so good, good. Inc- that's like, um do you find that's like one of the raimi type shots yeah, he does is. a lot of those transition like through a thing like he does it in the cafe yeah. through the glass of the cafe yeah, yeah. um okay cafe sorry i, I don't want to cut you off but peter parker would have died Oh yeah, okay. Okay, Doctor yeah. Octavius, right? So, like, he his whole thing was supposed to be like, okay, get Peter Parker to tell you where Spider Man is. He throws a car at them, like <laughs> yeah. they're gonna die. He doesn't he know he's Spider Man, right? It. Or right. does he know? Because like, uh, think about it. They, I mean, he's yeah. surprised well, at the end, but yeah, yeah. we'll okay. get into okay. it. So. Oh man, well, yeah, it's mm-hmm. okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I also the thought the same thing when he got thrown into the yeah. wall after he's like, okay, yeah, like come get your girlfriend. <laughs> Throws him into a wall, like you're dead. Like yeah, if that yeah, was a human, yeah. like would he, come get your girlfriend. What in a wheelchair? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah so, oh man. So yeah, Will takes a uh, one 0 lead on the the quiz here. So my next question is, uh, how much money did it make? Ooh, 
You're going first. Uh, I already forgot what you said for Harry Potter. Remember, it's a, it's a Spider-Man movie, the so Spider-Man. you never know. It is 2004. It's not the first Spider-Man movie. 800. I'll say a bit more than Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm going to go with... I don't want to go 750, but I'm going to go 760. Uh, or maybe a seven seven. Uh, that's gonna get too close to yours. I, I'm gonna go seven fifty. Fuck it. <laughs> seven fifty. I don't like that reaction. For God's sakes. <laughs> well, thanks for making it easier on me, Alvaro. I appreciate that. It was seven eighty eight. So no! Will is closer. No way. Oh, did Harry Potter? Make? Yes. Uh, Harry Potter was Damn. at uh, seven ninety five. Ooh, so Harry Potter made more. Both did uh, very wow. very well for the time Damn. period. It's not. It wasn't common for movies to hit. Uh, your hundreds of millions, yeah. Yeah. as we saw with some Multiple of these big hundreds. ones, Notebook and like mm-hmm. the Terminal. Even Garfield is like you know two hundred is yeah, a lot, it's a you lot. know. Especially with your budgets being around sixty to eighty million, it's a good profit margin. Call mm-hmm. it a day. But to make seven hundred ninety-five, thank goodness, a two hundred million budget is a lot for that time period. That's a lot. So yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's impressive. So uh, Will's on a. 2-0 lead right now, but we still got questions. You can come back. Don't worry, I have a tiebreaker question. Uh, so there's some <laughs> confidence for you there, Alvaro. Um, speaking of uh, gross revenue, where does Spider-Man 2 rank amongst gross revenue uh, in the entire list? Not even just Spider-Man movies, in all of film. So where does it sit in box office revenue? All movies. Wow. This is this is a pretty tough one. When the, I wrote the, this, the, I thought this is going to be pretty tough. Or Spider-Man Two specifically. Spider-Man Two, in an all-time list of all the movies, we got Avatar up there. We got up until this point, twenty twenty-three. Where does it sit? Oh man! Good luck. This I'm, is a I'm tough one. This is a really too, tough right? one. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, we said seven ninety-five, right? Yep. Okay, seven ninety-five. And I'll give you a little bit of help. It's not still not super common, obviously, to yeah. hit a billion. Yeah. I'm sure you can name the first ten easily of which ones hit a billion. Yeah. So. No. Yeah. There's um, a little hint. Seven ninety five. I'm just gonna run it up to like eight hundred in my head. Um, there's about two hundred million like margin there between the billion mark, and because I know there's like I think it's like seventeen numbers or twelve numbers that have hit the billion mark. So I'm gonna go with that between the 200 billion mark. I'm gonna go like, can I? Do I have to say top line or do I have to say a specific number? Uh. And then we'll go from closest number. Yeah, just say a specific number and we'll go closest. Okay, I'm going. Uh, I'm going 45. <laughs> Our guesses are always so close. The first time they combined was 53. <laughs> yeah, we'll go for it. Yeah, 53 and 45. Okay. Um, Alvaro is closer. Yeah. None of you are close, by the way. What? It's 27th all no time. No way. Wow. What? Yeah. Well, it made 700. I and thought there were million. more between the billion and the 800. That's There's what not. I was thinking. There wow. really isn't. So that's why I was trying to guide you a little bit on this question, just because like yeah. there are a lot of movies that hit a billion, but there really aren't as many. You kind of hinted at like the f- number that you I think had. you're right. It's like 12, yeah. 12, between 12, 12 and 17. Yeah, yeah something like billion. that. So I was like, oh, you're actually pretty good. And then you went to 40, and I was like, okay, yeah, you I just mean, skipped like hundreds of millions of dollars. But $200 million. That's so much money. It is that a was, lot of money. In my head, there was 20 ish movies that made between just under a billion, but above it, 800. Yeah. Me that's, too. That's where I went. So like, no, yeah, I listen. That's what I was thinking. Like I, I said, I liked your 45 guess. Yeah, was, I thought yeah. it was good too. Damn. But anyway, l- like All I right. said, it isn't, that was one of the questions I wrote and I went, this is probably the hardest quiz question you guys have had since because it probably. doesn't Damn. have a lot of like, you have to know your movies, you have to know your, your history a little bit and that way you can kind of gather Whoa. your best information. So okay. That was, a, that was very cool to know actually. Yeah. Um, 800 so gets you in the top 25-ish? The yeah. skill, uh, the skill, the score is 2-1 uh, will. My next question is, where does Spider-Man 2 rank amongst box office revenue in Spider-Man films? Ooh. Counting Spider-Verses? Uh, I'm not sure if they're actually beating it. Let me double check that, because as I said it, I actually thought about that too. I think it's only live action. Let me okay. double check. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, I don't know the amazing numbers, like the, the, the Garfield yeah, the Garfield numbers. I don't. I don't have any numbers in my head right now. Oh, are we counting Civil War? Um, Double checking that. Okay, 
I'm, I'm in my head. We're going Spider-Man titles. Yeah, that's I what think I'm it's. Too. I, yeah, I'm just double checking if mm. Into and Across are a part. Of, I think they are. Because I remember seeing it, but I'm okay. just going to double check while you think of a number. So I'm just looking for a rank um, as the last one. Yeah, no, I'm just saying it's titles because then, like, obviously, Endgame, Infinity War, yeah, Civil War. Exactly. Those are, like, the top three. Would be any uh, of them. I don't know if... Uh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. I was thinking, like, Civil War might not have made that much, but, yeah, no, it definitely made so much money. I, th- I think it's one of the billion movies. If not, it's high 900s yeah. in my head. Um, okay, well, since while you're still looking, I'll just... Put out my guess. I'll say fifth. Fifth out of Spider-Man movies. Spider-Man two. All well, time. Are you including Into Spider-Verse and Across Spider-Verse? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me help you guys really quickly on this. I found where I got my source from. Um, let me just help you really quickly. Uh, it's not. I forgot to write it down. It's not actually gross revenue. It, it, it's revenue for uh, our... Um, I'm going to mix these up. It's domestic. So it's not, not the entire budget. But the list, if you're thinking about it, doesn't change. No. Because yeah. it doesn't matter. But just to help you... Uh, and it's and, just um, Spider-Man titles. It looks like from here... It does have... It does have uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse in this list. So Not across. Not across. Probably no. too recent. Yeah. Although it really should be. I don't know why. This uh, website I, I said fifth. Updated, I'll stick to it. Sorry, what was your number? Fifth. Okay. Fifth. Highest grossing in domestic. Um, I'm going third. What do we do? Because it's fourth, right? Yeah, yeah it's right. fourth. <laughs> like I have your face. That is all right. So God damn it, guys. <laughs> I guess we'll That's a tough a one because, like, yeah, I've, uh, you're both, uh, yeah. We're both right. You're We're both, both right. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll just call it at zero for that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, fair enough. Yeah, it's yeah, it's fourth all time at um, at uh, 373 uh, lifetime gross of domestic. Obviously, Spider-Man No Way Home is at the top at 800 just from, yeah. like, that's, like, they could have hit a billion just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It would yeah. not have surprised me. Yeah. Yeah. No. So, uh, yeah. And, and for whatever reason, just for fun fact, but uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is all the way down here at ninth at 190 million. I don't think that's. Let me click on this. No, that, that might be. It, the first yeah, one did no, the not first one make didn't that make that much money. money yeah. Really? 375 million. I have it here. Yeah. That's wow. Total. So it only domestically, it only did 190. Almost 50%. Yeah. Wow. It just didn't make that much money the first one. I was kind of asking to throw you off of it. I was really hoping you were going to say yes straight away. <laughs> giving you, you the idea that, like, yeah. oh, maybe it's like top four or something. <laughs> I knew it didn't make that much. Damn. I, I thought it was, like, really highly up there. In my head, I, I was going to say, like, I would put No Way Home and then, like, into the Spider Verse in the top yeah. three. I, I right. had the, the three Hollands, mm-hmm. and it yeah. was, okay, Spider-Man 2, the next one, maybe, like, an amazing, well, this yeah. better, maybe Spider-Man Spider-Man, 3. the mm. first one from the Toby series, did 400, and that's second. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. I'm Far From Spider-Man Home only did 3. 390. Uh, and then, um, and then obviously at the top is No Way Home at 804, so. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. That's just insane. Oh, Okay. All right, so I still have questions to break this uh, close tie. So we've got this one and another one. So, bro, you got to tie it up here. Um, yeah, I do. How old is Toby Spider-Man in this Spider-Man supposed to be? What is the Peter age Parker? is Peter Parker supposed to be? Ooh. What are they going for? And I liked, I, I like this question because it brings back sort of our debate of like, who plays the best Peter Parker because of certain ages and how yeah. they how perceive. Accurate. So how old do you think? Your turn. My turn. Yeah. Um, We're gonna have the same guess again. I just yeah, I, just I have feel a feeling. Yeah, you guys um, are. I'm gonna go with. Oh man, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it actually isn't as simple, right? Because yeah. like you perceive it differently. He it's looks different much older. Than yeah, he definitely yeah, looks much older. 30. I'm trying to do some like <laughs> math in my head. I'm doing like okay, because you graduated high school in the last one. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe like two or three years past. I'm gonna go with like twenty. Okay. Ooh, Ooh, I was going 23. Okay. Mm, all right. Watch should be like 16. <laughs> <laughs> what should be 20 I mean, he's pretty smart. Like he could do it. <laughs> yeah. No. But uh, Alvaro's back in it. We've tied it up. 18. What? what? Yeah. That's And I, I think the reason we 
as Canadians, maybe we kind of thought CJEP universes. Right. So we have that gap yeah. uh, for anybody who isn't uh, well, uh, even just Quebec. That's just yeah, Quebec. Just so Quebec. for anybody who's not from Quebec, we have a middle ground between uh, like a college. Almost. Uh, it, it's yeah. So it's yeah. exactly we have, we have we don't have twelve years and like don't not twelve grades. Yeah, we have eleven. Then we take like a middle school. Yeah, like yeah a for whatever two yeah. years, whatever it is. Three, and three then, years. Yeah, so that's probably where you for, sort of jumped it a bit. That's yeah. That's for me, it was honestly I was thinking back to the first one and um, how they graduated the first one, no problem. And they must have been at least eighteen. I was thinking. Yeah. Um, and then I'm pretty sure MJ's talking to him. And uh, when, when, like, she hands him the money and says, like, oh, I can't believe it's already been two years since his passing. I thought I thought she said that. So I was yeah, in my no, head. At, yeah. At May, yeah. 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 So I was she like, okay, that, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to go, like, 18 plus 2 or 20. Or, fair, unless yeah. he was still in school when and Uncle Ben died. Uh, it's hard to say. They I don't really tried to fun. drink a cocktail at the event. He's underage. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> he tried grabbing a cocktail and down it. Maybe that's why he never got, got one. He's ah, underage. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, Interesting. it's like tiny little Filmmakers, things there, eh? yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah. So. Okay. We're tied. Fun. I found mm-hmm. that off of a Spider-Man wiki, by the way. That's okay. like, because I looked I'll it up and like, it. they everybody had like different answers because it was all just speculation. But then of I was course. just like, well, this is Spider-Man like fandom thing. So right. like, oh, I they probably anything. know. And they had like a whole bunch of research. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah, these yeah, guys yeah. are nerds. They do all the Yeah. All right, so I guess we have this last question here to oh, tie break. Man. This is exciting. Let's this one's it. um, it, well, this one's more research based. So if you guys did a bit of your research, uh, this one will come Negative to whomever. Research <laughs> has been done. <laughs> so we talked about uh, how most of the actors who portray Spider-Man will never win an Oscar for Best Actor, but Spider-Man movies do get nominated for some stuff. How many nominations did Spider-Man Two get at the Academy? Damn, I, you're starting that one. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm, indeed. 2004. Yep. It grossed 788 million. It okay. broke into a new category. I'm trying to think, other than the movies you just listed, I'm trying to think yeah. what else came out that year. Oh, we Nothing said Harry Potter was there, mind. but. Uh, that's the only one. That's the only one, yeah. Like, like, okay, Garfield. I don't think got any nominations. You'd be surprised. Terminal, Napoleon Dynamite. I don't think they got, like. Terminal probably got something. Maybe, maybe Tom Hanks acting, acting, probably. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably. Because it's Tom Hanks. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we're speaking nominations, not wins, right? Nope. Okay, nominations only. They didn't win, if that helps. But just, yeah, I don't think you guys know the history of. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're trying to do mind games here, but no, I'm, not. <laughs> I'm gonna go with three nominations. I'm three gonna nominations. Five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's four again, isn't it? One, two, three, four. <laughs> nope. Will got it on the dot. It's Damn. three. Uh, That's so the, nice, nice. the nominations <laughs> were <laughs> sound mixing, sound editing, and visual effects. Wow. Any wins? Which Sorry? Any no, wins? No, no wins. No wins. I, uh, yeah, so they were all nominations, not okay. a single win. I would have probably asked if they won one, and I don't think you guys still would have <laughs> yeah. guessed it, but uh, yeah. That's kind of funny, though. You're saying visual effects nomination, and we were just kind of saying how it didn't age well, but back it's, then. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. The technology was, was growing. Tier. It wasn't yeah. nearly even close to what it no, is exactly. now. If it you're supports comparing, exactly what we were saying. Yeah, if you're comparing every single movie that came out in 2004, you're not getting really that much now. quality, I don't think. Even with no. like... Um, was it? I knew you said Order of Phoenix came out then, right? Yeah. Um, or Prisoner of Azkaban. Prisoner. Okay, that's the one I was thinking because Prisoner of Azkaban has when he becomes a werewolf. Yeah. That werewolf was not very well CGI. No. 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 no, no. Pretty much not at all. So mm-hmm. like, if you're comparing that to Spider Man, hugely yeah, times better. Yeah. For sure. Better. Actually, I'm, are you? Well, are you looking up who won by I'm any go, chance? I'm, I just searched up 2004 movies. Oh, okay. Just to see if they had any competition in the VFX area. I, I just want to know what won. It's. 2004. Halle Berry's Catwoman. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Great movie. Amazing. Like, <laughs> Hellboy. No. Blade Trinity. No. iRobot maybe could have been there. iRobot might have won visual effects. Yeah. Hold on. I have it here. Why is there so many ads on a... Oh, I Saw. Can't. Saw came out in 2004. Oh. oh that would have been, been pretty good. So, let's see. What were the categories I said? Um, the Day After Tomorrow. The Day After Tomorrow. Great movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Visual effects and the sound ones. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So... Sorry, I'm scrolling through Actually, so many nominations. Yeah. Shrek 2, Troy, Howl's Moving Castle, oh, National Troy. Treasure, The Machinist. Troy is really good. Oh, yeah. I mean, especially the visual effects mm-hmm. they have on there. Mm-hmm. I, I thought the composing would have gotten something. I mean, I guess it's just he's like, it's iconic. So I it's not see, like really uh, good, it, I guess. it's really good point you bring that up because I see his name, but it's not for the movie. It's for a different movie. He uh, worked on Big Fish. 
which is he worked on both. So he got nominated what? for one of them, but not for the other one. Oh, That's man. That's kind of funny. At least he got uh, yeah, one nomination I, that year. I see his name pop up. Uh, by the way, uh, just for fun fact, Finding Nemo's original score lost to the Lord of the Rings original score that year. So I'll just point that out. L- Lord fun. of the Rings. I mean, the Lord of the Rings was good. Yeah. yeah. It swept everything. It did. Like, I love it. <laughs> why is this? So, okay. So sound editing. Nope. What sound? Wait. What year is this? Why is it not showing up? It's gonna be in the 2005 Oscars. Oh, that's yeah, why. Go. Oh my goodness. So yeah. They always get you with that. Oh my god. Uh, I asked for the. Whoa. What happened to the website? Let's I feel like go. Will's about to find it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This website's so uh, annoying. The I know where it is. Visual effect. Visual effects and sound mixing. Okay. Wait, what? What? It, okay, well, the quiz still stands. Nominations <laughs> is what I was asking about. But when I looked it up on IMDb, it said it didn't win. But here on the Oscars website, it says Spider-Man 2 won, beating out Prisoner of Azkaban and iRobot. Oh, oh, for, for which one? For which one? Uh, VFX, yeah. For VFX, oh, wow. yeah. And then sound, sound mixing, mixing, it yeah. lost to Ray. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. And sound editing, it lost to The Incredibles. Mm, oh, The Incredibles came out that that's year. That's a close. Right? Oh, and Polar Express was there. Polar Express well, was also yeah, nominated. Yeah. So, mm, wow. Okay, that's weird. 2004 was a great year. Yeah, yeah. It really Sorry, was. Not that I'm <laughs> yeah, even this. just the summer catalog that I read out yeah, was incredible. It was really good. So you mentioned Eternal as a romance movie, but before Sunset, Eternal Sunshine. Yes, I was oh, gonna yeah. put that in, My but I, I was it in the summer? No, I don't think it was in the summer. Anyways. Uh, so that does it for the quiz. Um, Will won. Close one, though. It's getting yeah. closer and closer. So That's yeah. twice now that we go to the tiebreaker? Uh, uh, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think last yeah. one Last well. one. Last one, you just won. You straight up Yeah, won. you straight up. Yeah, 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 like the, the first one, I think you went to the tiebreaker. Uh, that would make sense. Yeah, I think I'm so. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's it. It was close. We'll, we'll watch back on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll, we'll, we'll right. probably nice. do an episode where we just do quizzes the entire that time. That'll be fun. fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, maybe we'll just do a, a a fun episode for the Oscars where we all put our predictions in and see how many of us get oh, each one right. Oh, that's fun. Easy. Yeah. I'm, I'm, the, not, I'm the Oscar god. I'm Last not year I got 18 I feel like out of 23. I'm pretty good, but not like that good. I got so. 18 out of 23 last year. Correct. I, have, I keep track of every single year what I get. Damn. Yeah, I'm definitely not winning that. <laughs> I, I love it. All right. Well, that's... Okay. I want to bring up um, uh, Doc Ock and his uh, villain arc in this. Yeah. Uh, which I assume is pretty accurate to the comic books, and it seemed to have followed through to No, no Way Home. Um, but uh, I, I love the way it's done just because it's... Yes, he is creating um, what was it? Clean energy is what it reusable energy. Yeah, reusable yeah. energy. Yeah. For, with, uh, with fusion. Yeah. yeah, and so you know he's a, a little you know Oppenheimer Junior. Th- there you go, Vera. <laughs> oh boy, I, there, I, there he is. Uh, there, there you go. You, the you happy? I'm happy. For recording, he, Mr. Alex said. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have any references in yeah. this one. I had to. Now he like. <laughs> yeah, I had to. I mean, I, every single episode we bring it up. That's the goal. Up until the movie comes out, guys. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so I love the way that he's uh, his story is written in this. Uh, just this guy who really just wants to do good, and ultimately, it's just it's not even he's not even in control, uh, and it's not his decisions. Um, and uh, it's a great message to, you know, how uh, I wrote that Doc Ock and his entire arc in this is really um, a story of. Uh, you know, uh, mental health and the battle that mm-hmm. comes mm-hmm. with uh, the many struggles uh, and just the idea that somebody can be uh, casted as no good, but if you give them the opportunity to show that they're able to change and, and you know, make up or, or just up, whatever it is, whatever way you want to look at it, just be better, uh, and which really is the Spider-Man story uh, that anybody you know, you give them the opportunity that they can be greatness. Um, and, you know, and he ends up saving the town. He realizes he regains ability, which I don't really get necessarily in the movie because, like, technically the chip is still broken, but, like, are the arms dead? But the arms aren't dead because, arms like, aren't dead. I don't know. That's yeah. a I bit think, of a gray area. I think they said, like, oh, um, it's it's they have power over him because they're smarter than him. But okay, I guess but then he... 
I guess he more so just kind of like gained consciousness yes. again. Okay, and yeah. Powerful. Spider-Man talked him through it. Yeah. Like, yeah, you got this, buddy. Don't yeah, worry. pretty much. You so can do it. There you go. Yeah. Like, that's perfect. That's another great... This is why this movie stands, uh, you know, so high on, on many people's lists. It's a great it's a great way of looking at it and it's the reality of of the world we all live in we've all battled with whatever we've had in life and you know sometimes it may feel like some somebody or something is in the way but if you're given the opportunity to prove otherwise you will do some good you'll pull through and yeah. i i love that about his entire story now the one thing i didn't like not from this. Well, it is part of the sequence, but it isn't from Spider-Man Two. I'm talking about No Way Home. So you know how I was we waiting for you to bring it up. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm just, okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you talk about how Doc Ock um, moves over to their universe, right? And yep. the whole point of the the hero or the the villains arriving there is at the last moment, right before they die, right? Technically, Doc Ock's last moment before he dies is when he's pulling the uh, yep. reactor into the water. At that point, he has consciousness and ability to control the arms. So when he arrives in Tom Holland's Spider-Man universe, he shouldn't be the Doc Ock that arrives. Yes, but I think they do explain it in the No Way Home movie. They they do like a little part where he <laughs> says like, "I was choking him" because I think it's not just the okay. last part where they're dying, but it's <laughs> it's where they're it's it's the last fight they had with Spider-Man because he does say in No Way Home like. Oh, I had him. I had him just in my hands. I was squeezing him. I had him right by the neck. And then, and then boom, I'm here. Yeah. You yeah, know, they, they do say that in No Way Home. I remember that very clearly because that's, I remember that's the first time I, yeah. like, he got introduced and I was I th- like, I think oh. you are right. But at the same time, it's, they I do remember it. you saying that it's like at their last yeah, moment. That cause yeah. Because he, he says it. something like, we can't just send them back to die because they know like that's what they're, yeah. he was, um, uh, Jamie Foxx uh, Electro was like charging up and then he disappeared he said he was like he, he said something along the lines like oh I had like all the energy but then he was like wait oh I was gonna die yeah. and yeah. then um, what was it for the Green Goblin I actually don't remember what his sequence he, was he got like stabbed well yeah stabbed. I know he got yeah. stabbed but what was his did he mention he, didn't he just mention was anything. like was I'm just, here now yeah, yeah I've only seen that movie once and it wasn't here so I really don't okay. remember oh, specifics should, about it that was amazing but, yeah I, I honestly think for the Green Goblin it's perfect that we didn't hear anything about it in No yeah. Way Home I know we're not talking about No Way Home but I just want yeah, to bring yeah, it up yeah. well I brought it up so. yeah I mean yeah yeah but it's because his dual personality right yeah. oh, okay like, yeah it's his personality as Green Goblin that was about to get stabbed through so then he's um Osborn. Yeah. I forgot his first name though. Norman, uh, Norman Osborn. Norman. Yeah. He's yeah. Norman Osborn when he comes into the new into the multiverse. So he's like super confused, which yeah. makes 100 percent sense. Which was really good on their part. I, th- okay. I like that. Yeah. So basically all I'm getting at is just like I I the MCU and their like cop out, like, yeah, okay, I love No Way Home. And obviously it's mm. just a giant nostalgia trip because like Pretty I would much. never have went to see it if there weren't a single rumor of Toby and yeah. Andrew being yeah. in it. Would never have seen it. I don't even keep up with any of the other MCU stuff. So like that's the last thing I watched in theaters. Mm. Um and I I, I loved it, obviously, because who isn't wanna, you know, watch their childhood yeah. heroes yeah. on screen again. And yeah. I'll give no way home the credit it deserves i am really glad the way they did it they did it perfectly i think i was amazed the fact that they were even there for the rest of the movie i thought they were just going to show up and disappear i I, it was well done yeah i agree with that but the continuity makes no sense so uh, (laughs) like when i was watching this and doc hog was like falling in the in the river there yeah i was like where's the doctor strange portal when is it gonna open when's he gonna fall through (laughs) i would have have laughed so hard if like netflix went back and And just like like, (laughs) oh my god God, God, God. i was looking for it but I mean, there, you know, there's a there's like a conspiracy theory, I guess, but it's like how this one and I'm pretty sure it's the No Way Home one is like linked in none of the multiverse kind of way, which is the um, the little girl that Tobey Maguire rescues. Yeah. Uh, like Peter Parker rescues from the burning like apartment building is apparently um, Ned's grandmother, I think. Yeah. From No Way I think Home. That's the. Yeah. Uh, they, I've heard that conspiracy theory. And it's like the way that like. Um, well, OK. It's, the way people grabbed it is because, OK. Um, I'm, I'm assuming it's because of their looks. Okay, uh, the little the little baby girl, she's crying. She needs help, and then she she gets saved by Tobey Maguire, right? Yeah. Not not Spider Man, but Tobey yeah, Maguire, yeah. like it's Peter Parker version. Yeah. And then when uh, Ned opens up the portal in No Way Home, when Peter Parker comes through, he kind of gives the the grandma like a look. Yeah. You know, he gives he gives her it's, a look, and she kind of like smiles, and he kind of he's like he's like oh. Like, like, hey, like, kind of like, I, I recognize you kind of yeah. like, so everybody kind of grasped onto that. And it was like, 
Conspiracy theory. <laughs> uh, we are saying that Ned's grandmother, they like inferred, and then we kind of got part of Ned like becoming magic, but like we're yeah. inferring that she is magic, right? Like that's I sort guess, of like, yeah. he kind of mentions it about it and then they make a little quick joke about it. But mm. in that f- fire scene, Toby falls or Peter falls and yes. then she pulls or you know, pulls, pulls him, him up. up. Yeah, pulls a like, full-grown yeah. man back so up. So strong. I mean, of course, it's possible that, you know, that's sort of that sequence where Peter's starting to regain his, like, ability. Yeah, so like, he's sort of like, you know, yeah. There. I mean, he, he's probably pretty strong alone, even if you're not, you know, have that extra strength. You have to be built still. Yeah, yeah. We, we see him start to gain back the ability because he tries to break through it and he's like, oh, and yeah, it's like, right. okay, and I he need goes, to do this. Yeah. yeah, And then he fully kicks it yeah, down. That's so, true, that's true. It, it's I don't know yeah, I I like the theory it's fun to add those things I mean, together it's fun but, but it's like fun. it's fun those are the theories <laughs> that, that one is very far fetched in my it's far fetched yeah, yeah, but funny. it's f- a fun and you know harmless far fetched you know mm-hmm. yeah of course of course because it's never actually going to lead into anything yeah, no exactly it's not like saying like Tom Holland was in the back and he did this you know it's, it's, it's completely yeah, different not. you know yeah, okay. yeah. sure <laughs> <laughs> I have like that a little baby before. kid <laughs> that's oh, kind of good. Yeah. I had a question for you guys. This is completely like unrelated to like the conspiracy theories or anything like that. But I did do a bit of research on um, the release date for this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, it was in March, right? I believe um, that was the official release date. But there was, um, I'm, I'm assuming, it was, I'm pretty sure it was in March. I don't know. I think it was summer. It was summer. Yeah, you know what? I think you're right. I think summer. it was uh, end of June. Yes. Okay. End, end of June. June. Sorry, yeah. my bad. I was thinking something else. Um, and I think the, uh, I think the movie came out or the VHS came out in like March. That's probably what I'm thinking about. Yeah. I, I did, I did a bit of research on that, but where, which country do you guys have to say was the last one to have it in theaters? We're the last one to play it in theaters. Not oh the last my one to, goodness. Not the last one to keep it in theaters, but the last one to play it. Like to so, start it. To start it. Yeah. To start it for the first hmm. time in theaters. Oh man. Uh, psh. let me say some Asian country. Yeah. For Normally sure. they get it. Very I late. don't know, honestly. I, it's funny. Hong I was actually Kong. almost going to look that up. I was very <laughs> close to looking that up. That's mm-hmm. so funny you bring that up. I don't know. Like, <laughs> uh, I'm going Hong Kong. Man, Shanghai Hong Kong. didn't get it. That's, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, it, I'm not talking about the ones that didn't get it. Like, the ones that did get well, it. Well, yeah, like, but like super one. late. Yeah. Kind of like our um, uh, Saudi Arabia, like, re release for, for Joker there. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, th- yeah, like, I don't know, like Shanghai or something. <laughs> I don't know. It was Italy. <laughs> yeah like the place that's that amazing. now has like premieres you yeah. know it's crazy to think that like that were the last ones to get the movie yeah, that's, that's a, lot that's of a big cinema hub there's venice film festival was one of the biggest festivals yeah. in the world yeah and it that's was incredible. like incredible it was uh, something like two months later whoa wow that's yeah. like I'm almost sure out like of a theaters month at that point yeah. Yeah, like a month crazy. and a half yeah, yeah it was crazy wow. crazy crazy <laughs> that's actually kind of funny i know and like <laughs> of all places italy like to me I, as soon as i saw it i was like didn't they do like the Mission Impossible like premiere in Italy? Mm-hmm. Like that—that's the one that just yeah. came out. Like, yeah, yeah. What yeah the, that's it. I yeah. was confused. Oh, it's a big <laughs> cinema hub. Yeah. Whoa. I want to bring it up. It's <laughs> like this small world. A lot of changes really fast, oh, right? Yeah. So you never know. It's yeah. incredible. Uh, I want to go on a great little fun. Uh, you guys are gonna like this. Let's so we it. talked about s- top tier superhero movies, and I say how. Um, Spider-Man 2 is not only one of the best superhero movies, but one of the greatest movies uh, all time. As we know, it sits 27th grossing, so clearly it did something right, and it has a high rating. Uh, Speak quickly, what did you guys rate it on Letterboxd? I think I got it a five. Uh, Four and a half. Okay, I gave it a five. Um, (laughs) Will. (laughs) (laughs) It's not perfect, sorry. No, the d- some of the dialogue here and there is a bit choppy, especially yeah. at the beginning of the film. So yeah. I see where you're getting that. Yeah, but pizza time. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I have yeah. it right here as one of my favorite quotes. Yep. Pizza, pizza time. time. Yeah, me too. I have it on my favorite quotes. There pizza you go. Time. It's too good. <laughs> so funny. Um, yes, uh, my take, I want to just say this since we watched The Dark Knight, watched Spider-Man. I, th- I, I have to say Spider-Man 2 is better than The Dark Knight. You're crazy. I I maybe it's just because I relate more to it than Batman. Whoa! But I I think honestly, story wise, it's better. Boy, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I agree with that one either. There we go. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. Uh, highly disagree. But a uh, to each their own. To I each guess. their own. I mean, listen, The Dark Knight is a masterpiece by itself. It's a, it's an incredible movie. Is it less than Spider Man Two? No, but Spider Man Two is is n- not the Dark Knight. 
It, 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 the ghost, okay, like, he has the straightest face right now. I'm I like, like I, sorry, I just, okay, yeah. Listen, um, uh, Spider-Man 2 is, is an incredible movie. It, it's a great movie. It's it's one of the best superhero movies uh, yeah. of all time, probably, mm-hmm. you know. Um, But is it The Dark Knight? No. I, I'm, I'm not agreeing with you on that. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you kind of broke my brain. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Nostalgia wise, yeah. Sure. Okay. Yes. yes. I'm not even talking nostalgia yeah. wise. You're not. I'm wow. talking purely just off of like my lo- the most recent watches of it, which were honestly like what three weeks apart from both of them. Yeah. I I I don't know. I just genuinely got a better overall feeling from Spider Man, and yes, a part of it is nostalgia kicking in as yeah. well. But like the overall message. Maybe it's just right now where I am in life now Very felt way more relatable and much more impactful to me mm. than it is. And listen, I, I'm i just talking story. Overall, Dark Knight is definitely oh, okay, okay, a okay. very strong uh, movie that has will stand the test of time and does incredible cinematography. And Nolan is unmatched. Like Raimi's not even close to Nolan by any means. Okay, so you haven't fully lost your head. That's yeah, good to hear. Good. Like, I'm aware of <laughs> what I'm kidding. saying, but I just, like, I can't help but knock this feeling about how fun and, and just impactful it was to watch it the last uh, a few days ago. And then comparing it to my watch for The Dark Knight, I don't know. I just, the messages hit, the quotes hit, and just, like, the overall feeling of the movie hmm. at the moment was like, yeah, you know what? This was really good. A really great watch. I get that. It's fair. It's I get fair. it. Like yeah. we said multiple times in this episode so far. Mm-hmm. Everyone has their own opinions. Yeah. To each their own. Like when I saw The Dark Knight, I found it was a different appreciation. It was kind of like when I saw The Dark Knight, it was more like this is an incredible movie, period. When okay. I saw Spider-Man 2, it was more like this is an incredible superhero movie, period. You know, it's, fair it's, point. it's like The Dark Knight kind of like beats kind of just like we said, beats movies in general. Yeah. Spider-Man yeah. 2 beats superhero movies, but it doesn't beat like regular sometimes some other movies like it, some, i yes, still it does. think it pushes it, it does uh, it's, 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 it's amazing other films. Like it's definitely it, up there but sure. it's, it's not like in in my opinion i guess it's not like one of those movies that like can go up against like some movies that are not superhero based and still say it's one of the best movies of all time mm. but the dark knight i you can say that like it, it did crack my top 100 i think i put it 50 yeah it's, oh, it's pretty good it's for well like, that's uh yeah for, still yeah, for you that's really good very good movie i still very enjoyed it that's surprising. But to say Dark Knight? <laughs> yeah. I, no, uh, I have to respectfully I had disagree to say with that it. one. I had to say it, you know. I yeah, really, no, no, I, no, I, I, I feel like we've all I had really, our hot takes this yeah, episode I, so oh yeah, far. I've had so. a, I've had oh, really for hot sure, takes. for sure. <laughs> okay, well, I'll set you guys up for another one. Uh, we spoke of... Uh, who our favorite Spider-Mans are, which one of the films are our favorites. We even talked about who Aunt May portrayed, which of the actors was our favorite. Now, I want to ask you, because we don't talk enough about scores, I think this score from... Uh, Danny Elfman. Danny Elfman, yeah. Yeah, Danny Elfman. I think he hits perfectly yes. <laughs> what it means to be Spider-Man and all Peter right. Parker. Yes. Like both. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. good. All right. Well, it's no. controversial. Yeah, yeah, good. No. All right. Don't worry. <laughs> We're on the same page for this one. Danny Elfman did this a This score is job. incredible. Amazing. Yeah, Amazing. Yeah. I even wrote that note. I think probably my favorite point of this movie with the score wise was when Spider-Man, well, Peter Parker mm-hmm. leaves a Spider-Man costume in the trash and yeah. you just hear it's this iconic Spider-Man music that you know and love when he's swinging through the streets, yeah. but it's like, it's like melancholy. And you're like, he's given up. Yeah. He's mm-hmm. no longer, but it was so yeah. good. You just like, you literally felt so bad, but you're like, let's see what is going to come now. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, Danny Elfman portrayed it amazingly for, especially yeah. for that in between of, of, I don't know if I'm Peter Parker. I don't know if I'm Spider-Man. You definitely feel that mix. And he, yeah. he did an amazing job. Unbelievable. Yeah. It was amazing. I just have to say though, that Asian lady beats Danny Elfman. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Playing her she, little violin on the street. Enough. Yeah, she yeah. beats Danny Elfman any day of the week. Oh, fair, oh yeah, that's fair. <laughs> she's of there. The movie right there. Highlight of the movie. Eh? I gotta say the <laughs> other score that really hit me. It's so quick too. It's like, um, really early on when uh, he's going to the uh, to Mary Jane's play, and uh, you know he gets he has to go uh, fight the robbers or whatever, right? Mm. In the car chase, and. Um, that sequence it starts so i love it so much because it's like 
it's all happening really fast. The cop car flips in the air and you have no idea what's going to happen. Obviously, you know, like well, Spider-Man's going to show up, but like you have no idea like how he's going to impact this scene. And right. then just like the transition of the not hitting the crowd of people, that score starting slow and then he swings into the scene, so that good. score hits so hard. Yes, I does. love it. That uh, it's just so like, so good. Yeah, they're webs. He's here. Oh, yeah. 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 So oh, good. Man. Love it. Yeah, Love th- it. That kind of like scene really reminded me of like the Superman scenes from like back in the day. It's like, yeah. is it an airplane? Is it like a, is it, a, that, you know, whatever. Honestly, I, I yeah. what it is. is it a bird or an airplane? It, it reminded me so much of it because I'm really glad you brought it so up. So good. I, I love it. And it, it's like the iconic music from Spider-Man that you know and love. It just brought me back to like watching Superman. It's like da da da, da and you're like, "Wow, what did yeah, you know it's Superman? Incredible. He's coming to save the day." And that was Spider Man. I love so that. good. It's, oh, the score is incredible. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I, like even if I tried to compare it to other Spider Man movies, like the only score that's made that much of an impact is like the final swing scene from No Way Home. That score is mm. really, really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Other yeah. than that. I don't know, like some of the Amazing Spider-Man, like early, like th- their variation of of the original Spider-Man score, uh, is good. I like it actually. Yeah. yeah. But I I don't know. I just feel like as a whole for the movie, yeah, he just crushed nailed it. it. Mm-hmm. I don't think any other composer probably could have done that. He has a unique uh, ability uh, to like just to show that. Cause it's, it's not like writing an emotional scene. It's not like you're, you're talking about a, a person who has the ability to swing through cities with webs. How do you perceive that in Room a score? Music, yeah. Like it, it's, oh, it's so, yeah, but, but so, Danny so Elfman good. is one of those composers who can do it, you know? Oh, for sure. He's one for of sure. the few up there with uh, Zimmer up there. With yeah. The I'm sure Zimmer would have Williams, done. I'm sure. I mean, it's, he, he's yeah, he probably yeah. yeah. He's so iconic. Mm-hmm. He's also, I have here, he's Batman, like the original Batman. Oh yeah. I didn't that's even him. Didn't Nightmare know. Before Christmas. Yep. That's like, right. Yeah. I saw that. He has I some that great inc- scores to his name as well. That's incredible. It's nuts. I wanted to get back because I mean you did say the uh, the Asian lady playing the uh, <laughs> on the violin there. Um, when when she does show up, I'm pretty sure is when he's waiting for uh, Mary Jane to be done the play. Yeah. Um, yep. But somebody that stops him from going to the play is the usher, right? Mm-hmm. Which I don't know if you guys heard, but there was makes of Spider Man Four, right? After the Spider Man Three, they were apparently uh, you know they wanted to make it, and one of the main characters that was gonna pop in real quick. Uh, kind of like the opening scenes, so not main characters, but one of the opening scenes was going to show like Spider-Man bringing a Mysterio into like a court scene, apparently from like sketches and stuff. Um, and Mysterio was supposed to be the usher. Really? Oh. Yes. Because in the first movie, he is the um, the uh, the announcer or something like that. What's it called? In the wrestling match. He's, That's he's the guy. Right. He's the he guy is. that brings him in. He's like, he, and it's yeah, the Spider is. guy or Spider-Man, you know, and. And That's right. He ah, is. Yeah, he comes in, and then on the third one, he's the guy that um, he's at the restaurant. I don't know if you guys remember the third one very well, but it's pretty much when Peter Parker is trying to propose to uh, Mary Jane, and yep. he's at the restaurant, and he's yeah. and the waiter comes by and he's like, "Well, you know, you want, you got to present yourself like this. You got to do that." But That's he's right, the waiter, yeah. and so he he portrays different characters throughout like the oh. first, second, and third movie. Hmm. Yeah, I thought it was a really nice little like touch that there. Been cool. that yeah, because really like yeah. he's he's always there when um when Spider Man's like doing something really important. Well, Peter Parker's doing something really important, right? Um, especially in the mix with Mary Jane. So. I, it was definitely really cool to. Oh, w- it would have been nice to see him on the fourth one like that. Oh, for oh, sure. There yeah. are still talks about that Spider-Man I, Four, by the way. When yeah. I was looking up Toby's mm-hmm. profile, I, it, it showed up as up. a it as a credit. Up. It's yeah. it's supposedly in the works. Yeah, which I, I wouldn't know. be surprised after the um, like huge success from No Way Home, because yeah. everybody wants to see like what happens to those characters coming back or something. For sure. Like that, I know, mean, if they're smart, they do it. They do like a quick two-hour movie called yeah. a day, right? You don't yeah, need to make yeah. a three-hour thriller out of this, you know. Same thing with the uh, the Amazing Spider-Man. The Amazing Three. Spider-Man, which would yeah, be he cool. deserves a third yeah. one. Where is oh, that? Man. Like, come on. The post also come out at one point. Yeah, we'll, we'll which, probably get it, but it's really up it's, to the actors yeah. at some point because you realize a lot of these uh, a lot of these actors are like they do Spider-Man. They're like, I'm gonna take a step back. Like Toby did it. Yeah. Andrew, uh, I'm pretty sure a little bit, a little bit, but, but he's obsessed with the he's, character. Yeah, yeah, he loves it. Yeah. yeah, he's so passionate. He I know it's amazing. That. I love it. He's kind of like Tom Holland. If he could play that character for the rest of his career, he'd be more than happy to. Yeah, like, I mean, shit. Sure, if I if I got typecast as Spider Man for oh, the rest of my life, I'd yes, be like, hello. <laughs> so, yes, uh, I'd please. love to see those oh, yeah. Ones. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's it's an incredible franchise that impacts yeah. so many different lives. Oh yeah, I mean, like we have. Um, 
the Sony MCU, I guess, what you call it, is like the um, the Venom uh, universe. Yeah, the Venom. They're making um, uh, what's his name, a Craven the Hunter. Yeah, yeah, uh, right. You know all that stuff. They made Morbius. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 so there's a bunch of these villains that they're like introducing in like what people are calling the Sony Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Um, mm. if you wanted to connect it to like a character, I feel like Andrew Garfield yeah. would be the perfect role. I mean, there are again rumors yeah. that. That would be how they connected, and like Venom three, they bring him back. Okay, and then there maybe do Amazing Spider-Man three from there, and then connect, like I said, Morbius, Craven, yeah. all the guys are bringing up. That would be crazy because they have more than just those guys. Are they have a bunch of other rumored movies, Sony verse villains movies? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I even saw like a Doc Ock movie, maybe. Uh, like, <laughs> oh no, 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 no! Actually, yeah, I think I did see something like that. It was like on like a list for like movies like 2024, 2025 yeah. or something. 2025. While I think. he's searching that up, I just want to quickly we're quickly going through different uh, actors who made an impact. Um, I want to say, uh, Alfred Molina. In this, I think he was Amazing. really underused. He is an incredible he actor. Is. Yeah. He is. Um, if you guys have not watched probably one of my favorite miniseries in a long time, if you haven't watched Three Pines yet on Amazon. You have to watch it. It's so good. He is yeah. so so good in it. It's it. unbelievable. Never even heard of this. Yeah, it's incredible. It it it's uh, yeah. if anybody's wondering, it's 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 a uh, detective book in a small town in Quebec. It's a fake made up town, but in Quebec, and there's a bunch of stuff going on. Um, I won't give too much away, but it's a mystery, and it's it talks a lot a lot about the history of uh, of Canada and of Quebec uh, as well um so it's really really good it talks it does a great job talking about the important issues uh, in today's society so but anyways but Alfred Molina in that is incredible uh cuz he is british right uh, i'm not 90% sure he's is he not i, I could he was like latino he is british what ah, no I'm right way. yeah so Okay, no so way. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. you want to see how this is how Whoa. good of an actor he is. Not only wow. did we not know necessarily if he was British or not, um, he pulled off Doc Ock perfectly. You couldn't even tell. Uh, and then to then put him in the show Three Pines as with a Quebec Canadian accent and speaking French in it in parts. Wow is incredible it, just please watch the show if anybody's listening just please watch Fair it's, it's mm -hmm. honestly it's a quick what nine hours total yeah it's eight episodes exactly oh it's incredible uh and so yeah going back to alfred milena he, he's, he's so seven. good he's 70 yeah, years he's old as well now. yeah he's he's, 70 70 yeah wow yeah, he showed up in in No My Way Home, God. and he he stole every scene he was in. It wasn't even close. Um, okay, mm. Willem Dafoe was yeah. pretty damn Thank good. Thank you. But, but when is Willem but, Dafoe but like, not good? Yeah, I know, right. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. But also, like, it's not often. Like, like, what, I, I, I did specify. Uh, you know his scenes. Yes. His scenes. I know. I know, I know yeah. Willem I know. Dafoe is good. Yes. Like, there's Willem no Dafoe doubt. stole the movie. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. he stole the movie. Yeah. He outperformed like <laughs> he outperformed so everybody. Of course, like it's course, actually incredible. incredible. Like I feel like like Jamie Foxx just like showed up and was like he he took the paycheck and yeah, that's it. He was there for the money. Yeah, let's be real. And um, yeah, William Defoe put all his heart behind it again, and he did an incredible job. Uh, he outperformed Tom Holland in that. It wasn't even close. Yeah. Um, Tom Holland looked like he would never acted before in front of oh, him man. like that. Oh, man. I don't know how you compete with that. You no, don't, you know. No, you, you, you really don't. To me, it was that transition. I don't know. I don't know if you that guys that transition felt that. scene. You yeah, know what I'm talking about? It's so it's good when he's becoming. Well, he when he switches from Norman Osborn to the Green Goblin, and like Peter Parker has like a Spidey sense and everything. Ah. Oh. Man. So good, uh, and then he's Green Goblin. That was so good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Willem Dafoe, you can't, you can't beat him. Especially no. in the first one, he was really, really good. Yes, he yeah. was really good. And I actually, I, okay, we're gonna wind down this episode as we're going quite far with yeah. this one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is. I'm gonna start with a few of the gripes that I had uh, with this movie, and the biggest gripe I had was the, I mentioned it earlier about Harry Osborn becoming Go uh, Green Goblin 2.0. Mm -hmm. I very much disliked the way this movie ended. I hated it, actually. I really do. Um, Terrible ending. As mm. uh, Spider-Man lowers Mary Jane down to her 
well, as we know, not her fiance. She ends up leaving him. Yeah. yeah. But as, as she lowers him at the him, altar, like right. again to just prove my point that I really don't like her. So I go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Keep, keep going. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. <laughs> but like, yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, once he lowers her down, and like he just he's just watching, like as Peter, not even as Spider Man, because he has no mask, and he's like beaten up and wounded. And he did everything he can to save her and to basically overcome everything throughout the movie, and then he swings away. Boom! End the movie. Don't continue. Just leave it. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, "Oh, you know what? You know, we should really show uh, William Defoe again in this." And like, Harry's gonna become like, "I don't care. Yeah. Just end the movie." Well, it's, it's to set up the third, you have yeah. to I set don't up the give next a crap. Movie. Yeah. Like, I, I know, I know, I hear you, but yeah. think about Sony. Think of the money. No, I like, get that. Yeah. And that's like, it's, I just, it's, it's like, disgusting. Just it's, end the yeah. damn movie. No. And, and then the altar scene too. It's like, what the why? Yeah. Like, yeah. Who, no, and then, I, then when they did finally end it. It takes so a while before it actually ends, and so I was like, okay, they're she's back to him, whatever they kiss. I'm like, okay, now it's gonna end. Now He's gonna, gonna yeah. leave. No, it's then end. it cuts back to her, and then it cuts back to her yeah. just waiting at the window for like 15 seconds. Why? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, wait, it's not done. There's gonna be another scene, <laughs> and then it cuts, and then boom, early 2000s rock music comes yeah, in. I'm like, okay, it's now it's done. I just I yeah. hate the ending so much oh, of this movie. Yeah, but then I have a question for you. Then how can you give it five stars? Fair. Okay, I, I I didn't because hate it, but I so enjoyed it. The reason I could still give it five stars is because the ending didn't deter from the entirety of the story. It was just like extra credits that you would put at the end of the credits. That's the type of stuff that you do these days, but not like in mm. two thousand and four. So that's why I'm able to kind of be like, I could dissociate it from where I believe the movie should end. I disagree. That's why I'm the, not. The after credit scene should have been the, the Harry Osborne yeah, seeing sure. his dad. Fine. Mm. Then cut the entire wedding thing. Yeah, if you cut the wedding thing, sure. But it's still there. It's a yeah, part of the movie. A it's a part. Of you the movie, have a fair yeah. point. But again, yeah. I, I, I like we, we rate different overall, movies differently. And like, yeah, of course, yeah. of course. No, like, but. you have a point. And definitely, like, arguably, yeah, four and a half stars, four stars for that alone. But talking about like I just watched <laughs> two hours of a movie and then like a three minute segment is going to ruin the entire overall is a bit harsh yes. there are other things throughout the movie that I could definitely knock it down from five some of the dialogue's a little bit all over the place I mean the dialogue it's, is very it's clickbaity it's nowadays very, you, say. It's, you can snip it every every scene there's a piece sure, of dialogue yeah. you can snip it like oh it's so deep it's so important but, Every single scene has one of those. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's you got to remember it's a 2004 movie exactly. on Spider-Man, yeah. right? Exactly. That's, yeah, that's yeah. the point of it, and I think that's the joy of watching a movie like that. Oh, for sure. But I agree with you on the fact that the ending could have maybe been better. For me, I didn't hate it. I didn't enjoy it necessarily. <laughs> like, it was fine. It was good, but I didn't hate it. So, like, yeah. I, I give it five stars. But if you don't like the ending, I feel like the ending is a huge portion of the movie. Like, the beginning, the ending are huge. That's fair. That's fair. No, I, we, I can't we, we, argue we, we with you there. Movies differently. Yeah, we all rate movies differently. No, yeah. like, just, I, I'm I, just curious. I'm just curious. I need to hear it. You know, it's <laughs> no, like I, I absolutely see your view of it 100%. But like I said, the final act to me is literally just Doc Ock saying, yep, I can do this. Boom. Plops it in the water. And he saves MJ, drops her down. He says, whatever happens, she marries him, doesn't marry him. I don't care. I'm okay with like everything that's happening yeah. now. Boom. Swings off. End of m- movie. Because everything was accomplished and yeah. like there's there's no uh, there's no uh, like lingering questions the, the, anymore the plot wrapped up yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like to me that, that that's the message no one and really cares I, if she goes back to peter or not exactly and honestly you could just throw it at the beginning of the next movie or they didn't something even have like, to at the start one and three they could have just been together yeah and small mm. little line of like Oh yeah, it's been a year yeah, now. Remember I ditched that guy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Poor no, John. Like, that was his name. <laughs> yeah, poor John. John uh, Jameson. I was curious to know because to me, five stars is nothing is wrong with that movie. That's why I have so okay. Little five so stars. yeah, we definitely rate movies differently. Yeah. A five star. Yeah. I think I might have ten five stars in my letterbox. I actually looked at it recently. I have a few more than I thought. I have a lot have more lot. four stars than I thought. I have like I have love seventy. Yeah. Which is incredible. I didn't think I did. I'm just playing up now. Now that I mentioned, I'm curious how many I do actually have. I have quite a bit of five stars, but then like four stars. I have 14 five, five stars. Damn. Ooh. Okay. Okay. One yeah. of them's a short film. I don't count that. Okay. That doesn't <laughs> count. Yeah. We'll, one of we'll mine's a sh- short film as well, actually. I feel like we should go through our kind of like 
lists of top movies. That'd and stuff be really like that. fun. We'll save it for another episode. We should do an episode like that, just having fun and uh, going around there. Maybe we could do it at the same time as like our Oscars and yeah, that yeah, just be definitely around that. See what we watched this year, same. stuff yeah, like that. Exactly, see yeah. how we rated it, our averages and stuff our like best that. Best watches. Yeah. All right, uh, I think that's where we'll end it today. It yeah. was quite an eventful uh, episode. We had a lot to say, and oh, yeah. uh, we mm-hmm. covered a big chunk of the Spider-Man universe. We didn't just talk about Spider-Man 2. Uh, there's plenty more that we probably skipped over, oh, lots of amazing sure. scenes and some great acting uh, as well. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new, comment down below if uh, you know you prefer Toby, Tom, Andrew, I don't know, whichever you want. If it's, uh, you know, just say whatever uh we would love to hear your opinions um and if you uh are wanting to listen on the go make sure you check out the spotify as well and uh i hope you all have a fantastic uh weekend because you better be playing spider-man because if you're not (laughs) spider-man 2 and you're not playing it well all right what are you doing (laughs) what are you doing yeah i won't be i'll be waiting a couple more months till it comes out it's okay you can come over we'll play i got you (laughs) all righty